This program is intended for mature audiences and may contain some material that is not suitable for everyone, including violence, coarse language, and unfiltered opinions. We do not endorse the views of those we report on. Dave shit his pants. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. 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 Um, yeah, but that's not even the first thing we're going to talk about. Um, but good, good evening, everybody. I hope you guys are having a fan-fucking-tastic evening tonight. Uh, this is the first day that I got to see sunlight in, like, over a fucking month. So, you know what? I'm in a pretty damn good mood. I got my vitamin D, you know, an essential yeah. part of anyone's diet. I used to... Th- <laughs> When I was a kid, Mango, I used to not know the difference between vitamin D and vitamin C. I used to, like, get confused which one was which. And I think it's because, I, you know, I blame Sunny D, honestly. I really do. Uh, vitamin C for me growing up was a singer. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, she, she was really popular in the 90s. Uh, she had a graduation song. That was super fucking popular. Like everyone, no, I know you're talking about. Their, yeah, I was just so, not I mean, expecting. Like you know, you, you hit me <laughs> with something I haven't heard, thought about in a very long time. <laughs> um, so I want to say hello to all the beautiful people here. Oh my What's, god, is my kid a goat? What? <laughs> what? Did you not hear that? Um. Yeah. No, I did hear that. And I did hear that. I didn't know if that was something else in the background. <laughs> no, that's my kid. Is that a fucking goat? Yeah, I heard, oh, I heard, I heard a bleat in the background. Um, <laughs> oh my god, what, doggo, go. What's up, Ashley? What's up? Um. What's up, Seth? Hope you're doing well. We got Lucy from Almighty. You're lurking at work. You're not lurking if you say hi in the chat. Um. What What's up, Esben? Hope you're doing well. We got Tony here. We got Spherical Man. Nice to see you, Nitsua. 
Also nice to see you here. We got Trav from TO. A bunch of beautiful fucking people here. Nice Anyone to fucking that, see you all. You know, lurking or watches after the fact. Thank you for being here. We love you too. Yes, we very much do. Um, so before we dive into the first piece of content, which Mango decided upon, um, I, I would like to to bring these links up right here. Um, Mango, you can give a bit of a summary. Okay, so uh, small humans nightly seizure med is covered. However, comma space. We do have to cover the cost for his emergency diazepam, which is $346 for two vials. So if you would like to help with that, that would be fantastic. Um, a bunch of people have suggested, oh, just use GoodRx for his emergency diazepam. That covers the pills. His is a rectal formula. It's completely different. So if you would like to help with that, great. If not, great. It's your money. Do with it as you please. All right. Well, uh, let's continue on to the very first thing that we have here. M Mango requested this be the first thing. I did put in the title, too. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised. But um, the world's saddest taco dip. Um, yeah, I really want to know about that. This is a really... Okay, I don't know if you're going to believe what I'm having to say here, but this is the most delusional take I've seen out of Dave in years. Oh, no, it's a Dave. I should have known it was a Dave. Yeah. See what he says here? Taco dip is destroyed. We'll continue on and provide some context, but that taco dip doesn't look very destroyed to me. But uh, That yeah. looks like a taco salad? <laughs> yeah. Let's see what he has to say. Taco dip has been ripped apart. Oh, it's, don't worry. It's you will mostly find... there. It's like mostly there. It has not been ripped apart. Oh, some bean paste in the bottom was moved around? Is that what you're <laughs> yeah. talking about there, Dave? Yeah, what there's the barely fuck? any difference here. And how to make this fine dish on Dave's cooking show. The Super Bowl special. Oh my lord, looks like my Yeah, only like two fucking corners have been carved out. It looks like you got two servings out of this. Like seventy five percent of the dip is still there. Oh my lord, looks like Oh my god. It looks like a goddamn taco salad. Yeah, it does. What kind of like, dip is that? It's not a dip. That's a fucking salad. Look, if you're trying to make some sort of like taco dip, what you wanna do is you wanna make a layered dip with like refried beans, melted cheese, lettuce, sour cream, just like a like a seven layer dip. You know what I'm Wait, saying? Where is it though? Oh, Wait, it's gonna it... be it's gonna be out at the Super Bowl. What? Where is he it? This, he does this shit all the time. He'll make a short about something and then like it'll premiere forever later so oh, you God. scroll up some let's see i don't think i don't see it here it's not even a premiere is it he does not have it set yet he'll probably get it set within like the next day all right, well, let me see when the short came out, because I want to know what's up with this bullshit distance-wise. I think this came out, like, at least a, a couple days ago. Oh, my God. Thanks, YouTube shorts. Well, let me check the description. Right. Yeah. Eh. Yeah, a few days ago. January eh. 31st. Oh, okay. Not... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait. The, yeah, because that's all he wrote. Sh oh, yeah. shit. I, I don't... Look at this. This juicy Lucy that I created... <laughs> Never say that again. Never fucking say that shit again. Oh my god. What's up, PT Ham? Nice to see you here. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the fucking accent either. I have no idea what he was talking about there. So yeah, that... that no. That, that, was... that taco dip was not destroyed. This burger looks like shit. Uh, which, the taco dip just goes to show uh, Dave eats by himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He yeah, doesn't even what look, Dave. No offense, but looking the way you do, the most you can eat is two fucking fucking scoops of uh of taco salad. Like, come on, brother. You should be able to put down more than that. I mean, fuck. We got dude brothers here. Nice to fucking see you. Hey, dude bros. Will blow your mind. Look at this. It didn't blow my mind. All right, I want to see this. It, it looks like a burger with cheese baked in it. 
Oh, yeah. It's a little scary. It really does. Trying the dirty Detroit pizza. He, did he got 1.6k views on this? Oh, let me see this. All right, let's try the dirty Detroit pizza. Looks like a regular pizza. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, this is horrifying. Mm. Mm. When this episode drops, make sure you uh, make sure you do it. No, thank you. Or let's. That was just him munching on a fucking pizza. It, it looks like a standard goddamn pizza. It looks like a regular ass pizza. Yeah. What what makes Look, it dirty it, Detroit? It, let's, let's see. Maybe it explains it a here. dirty Detroit pizza. What's and you dirty will find about? out how to make this on Dave's cooking show. Oh my god, he's clickbaiting us again. Does this one exist at least? Oh my god, no, it doesn't. There is no dirty Detroit pizza. Yeah, you know, fucking suck my nards, Dave. I can't believe you're fucking pulling me around with this bullshit. All I see is megaton mac and cheese. Like, fuck you. Your mac and cheese looks like shit, Dave. Shouldn't the purpose of the shorts be to bring people to your main video? That's clearly the intention. He says at the very end, but th you should have the fucking main video out first and then put out the short afterwards. No, see, he'll he'll put out the shorts. Then he'll set a premiere. But he didn't even <laughs> set one. He didn't even set a premiere, though. That was okay. days ago. Look, at least we have, you know, the P can pie. P-E-A can pie. Oh, yeah. And the yeah. Uh, Korean PRK chops <laughs> to look forward to. We, 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 we were making fun of this shit two weeks ago, and it's still premiering <laughs> in 17 days. Are you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Dave's penis in a can pie. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, well, Ooh. we got <laughs> fucking hell. We got 17 beautiful people watching right now. Drop a like if you like this shit. Always much appreciated. Um, I already need a break from old day. Oh, oh wait, <laughs> should we? Actually, no, before we move on from Dave, we need. <laughs> There's something did, important did that Dave needs to shit answer. himself. Yeah, we need to decide whether or not Dave pooped his pants. Oh, we really Lord. do. All right, one second. I, I I think I have the uh I have the video file right here. Let me remember to share the audio. Yeah. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the audio is really important here. So that's a good point. All right, share screen. Also share system audio. There we go. All right. New Orleans. Did you hear that? Mango, really? did you didn't hear that? All right, run, run it back for me. New Orleans. Did you hear him saying New Orleans? Yes. All right, all right. Listen very closely what Dave says after this. Um, a lot of it's in um, a lot of it's in in his body motions and shit like that. Let's take a look. New Orleans. So did he Dave shit his know. pants? He shit his pants. You think so? I I think Dave shit his pants. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, especially like the, those weird grunting noises he makes. It sounds like he's pushing something out. Look, if it were a fart, we probably would have heard it. That's fair. That's fair. You know what? I'm going to do a poll in the chat since we have like 21 people chilling with us right now. And then after that, I'll probably play it one more time. Um, One more game. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, this is like, I feel like this is a hot debate, like a hot subject matter. Like, I, I posted this in a uh, fucking Jake Surfer, and even like the people there were perplexed. Like, people couldn't decide whether or not he shit himself or not. But um, I think in the end, we all kind of decide that whether or not he really did shit himself, it's more fun to pretend that he did. So, yeah, I figured well, that's see, uh, Like, okay. So, for those that don't know, Small human is nonverbal autistic, and he is still working on certain aspects of potty training. Uh, he'll pee in the toilet just fine. 
but other stuff not so much. Uh, so yes, I recognize those grunts and body movements because yeah, he shit himself. That's a shit. So you're telling me pretty to defi- almost pretty definitively. It seems like here, like yeah, that was almost certainly a dump, huh? Damn, yeah, he took a shit. Crap. Damn, he took a shit. All right. Well, w- w- with that said, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it to the people and see what they think. Did oh shit, I almost fucked up. Did Dave poop his pants <laughs> live on air? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like how you're just like, yeah, no, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I wonder how that's going to influence the poll, even though I'm pretty sure I already knew where the majority of people were going <laughs> to peg this to be. 100% yes right now. Will anyone say no? <laughs> There's I seven guess. votes right now. <laughs> <It's all yes. laughs> they all said yes. <laughs> wow. They all voted almost instantly, too. That is yeah. fucking hilarious. <laughs> All right, well... well and uh... votes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Wait. no, no. Here we go. We got some no's, yeah. Damn. Democracy in action. All right, yeah, <laughs> we've, yeah we've decided. History is written by the victors, Dave. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it running for a bit. Yeah. But thus far, it's looking like the yeses have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, shit. All right, so we'll bring that. We'll leave that. Ru- we'll leave that running for a bit, and we'll also we'll also allow people to uh, to take another look at this later. I think we'll do another segment or two, and then we'll revisit this. And then towards the end of the show, we'll uh, we'll see where it lands. I wonder who the winner will be. I since wow, I wonder who could possibly win. Um, but so, oh uh, man, let's talk about let's talk about someone that Dave's utterly obsessed with. This has been quite the. Uh, quite the story online i suppose uh and i wanted to go into it during our our last proper underhaven stream but i got i got inebriated out of my fucking mind and we (laughs) we just had a fun ass time towards the end with jarbo um it was a great fucking episode but it was off the walls (laughs) so i didn't exactly get to talk about it but this is better because i've i've since had the ability to um to not just have time stamps but to actually have a, a properly put out six minute just comprehensive, uh, you know, overview and highlight of the whole situation. Because, yeah, some of the shit that happened is pretty fucked up. And uh, I would like to talk to you guys about it when I'm, you know, in a proper state to do so, which is about right now. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this shit. I will uh, I will provide additional context where necessary. And we'll show this to Mango, who's taking a look at this shit for the very first fucking time. Um, I don't know how to say this. Lock hell. Locre, locre. I yeah. Did I just lock. say I was in a sober mind to handle this? I I promise I am. Um, I think it's pronounced lock. Lock. All right. L O P always seemed like the type to be look. <laughs> He's shitting his pants. I didn't even read your comments until now. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, he he really does have that like that pants shitting disposition, doesn't he? You know what I mean? Lock. Yeah. All there right. we go. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Damn. Nice job, Mango. Well, uh, so. In French, when you have the C followed by the Q-U-E, it's a K sound, much like a K. It's funny that you know that and I don't when I'm the one with the French-ass name. Uh, <laughs> je parle français un petit peu. So. Oh, man. All right. Let's let's uh, let's take a look at this. Um, for the start, I'll, I'll, I'll just, especially this like initial statement part, I'll just let it play, but I'll start to provide more context as things move on, because uh, there might be some occasions where more is necessary, but let's take a look. I think I want to start out with saying I am really annoyed that I am put in this position, and she should have been the one to be able to talk to you about all of this, and I shouldn't be the one that was the only one talking to you about this. I think it's deeply unfair to myself. Uh, it's certainly unfair to Sarah. And then we also have our friends, Alex and Randy, who helped work with us on Charisma Saves, who are you know essentially normies. They don't make content like this, and they shouldn't be put through this kind of drama. Uh, but they were. I want to say, like, it's no shame if you like Hannah's content. Like, yeah. obviously, you okay. wouldn't know anything about what's going on behind the scenes personally not. with us. Like, you're don't feel bad if you're like, oh, I like Hannah and I like her stuff. Uh, obviously, this is one of those things where, like, when you talk about a content creator and things that they've done wrong and how they've hurt people, it, you know. Yeah, there could be some uh, tribalism in that. Uh, I expect some ha- some stanas, as it were. 
So this is this is like her starting to not the first time, but she's starting to probe into sexual conversations. She, right now, she's just venting, and that's what I think. I read this as venting, right? Uh, everything else yeah, has been like, great, oh, blah blah blah. Man, my wife's really isn't great right now. Yeah, she's got some hangups. Yeah, she's sweet and stuff. Uh, I like some aggression, some domination. Uh, it's hard to communicate to people. Some people just aren't into it. Oh, sorry. Wait, pause. But, uh, I either get weird about sex. Uh, thank you, purple stuffing. My small human says hi to you and your small human as well. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Oh, we got we got some people here too. Uh, what's up, Mari? We got Mari here. Nice to fucking see you. We got Jilly's mom here as well. Nice to see you, peeps. Always nice to see some familiar faces here. Sex are weird over share. You good. I'm giving your short, terse responses, as you can see. Maybe I just won't have a good sex life. It happens. I'm not exactly in a position where I get lucky. So this is a thing that keeps happening, right? So she, she I have a lot of messages. She like keeps well. and I know that right now you're like, oh, okay, well, this doesn't seem like that big of a deal. What is Jake blowing this up about? Right? This seems like a nothing burger. It's I so clear that your very short responses are showing that you're just not yeah. into it. And then this right here, yeah. I should have so she's obviously soliciting. Uh I should have sucked dick when i had the chance lol i've been in the final fantasy discord sarah's in and i've been corrupted uh sarah was in a final fantasy discord and they had a not safe for work portion of the server yeah we basically basically post those traps and like we're yeah. oh, i mean we were just a bunch of like queer horny people but i know we don't talk much anymore sorry for coming at you with weird tmi stuff you see what i'm saying like out of context we literally don't talk she's dropped out of my fucking like she just shows up sometimes and I tell her to obtain dick. I would if I could, Jake. I would if I could. Lamau. Uh, this is why you shouldn't be only an assist woman. You could have gotten a free BJ back before I was in a relationship. Not trying to be yeah. weird. Just saying. Damn straights. I don't respond. That was super weird of me to say. I'm sorry. I'm having a weird one. Sorry. Oh, I made this super fucking weird. I'm sorry. So, yeah, this was like an ongoing thing. And that's just me showing like. The, the majority of like what I felt was relevant of what was shown off, but like there was a ton of more screenshots of a previous um weird shit that it just ha just Hannah trying to like pry for like you know sexual like details about Jake when when like Hannah knew damn well for quite a long time that Jake just wasn't into her. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. No. Like that. Those conversations just they felt super weird yeah because exactly. jake he he you could tell he was trying to be cordial yeah it was those short responses that he gave that were like very blunt and not rude but you know it was pretty clear that he wasn't reciprocal of what was trying to be put on there and hannah just kept doing that type of stuff which was weird yeah no like <sighs> If you're into the dude, just be like, hey, I'm into you. And then go from there. Yeah, at this point, I think it was pretty well established that like that wasn't the case. And this was just like Hannah repeatedly trying to have a type of relationship with Jake that Jake just was not reciprocating or interested in himself. Yeah, and, like, you know, he's not obligated to have one. No, of course anyone, not. You know? Which is why I'm saying like Hannah should have just been straightforward been like hey i'm into you and then jake could have been like i'm not into you like that and yeah. it could have been said and done and over yeah rather than like doing that type of shit and like after that didn't work out for hannah she started asking like sarah questions about the size of like jake's loads and shit like that to try and get it from like a secondary source because like sarah was willing to have those conversations and like you know, do that type of thing with fucking Hannah, at least have those like types of like, you know, conversations at least, which is something that she clarified like in, in the stream, but like trying to like push the boundary by, by trying to like use Sarah as like a stepping stone to like get to Jake again with something that you already knew that he wasn't reciprocating is just like bad behavior. It's really creepy at that point. I feel like because you already know how someone feels about the subject matter. At least try and be like a... At that point, just be a good fucking friend and respect their boundaries. Even if it fucking pisses you off and you're not happy about it. Like, that's what a normal person would do in the situation. Just, yeah. Just get over it, you know? <laughs> Especially, like... And, and it's not covered too much in this video, but, like, uh, Hannah's in a relationship, uh, married to somebody. 
I don't think that like being poly or in an open relationship is like any a part of any of the terms of their fucking relationship that I've heard. So yeah, it seems like just an, an all around fucking shitty and shady thing to do. But uh, let's continue because Hannah has a really weird self defense here. That is oh, probably no. one of the craziest things I've ever heard in my life. Jake, as soon as you were like, "Hey, you're being a creep," stop. I did. You didn't. As soon as I was creepy, I stopped. <laughs> as soon as did you just hear her words? As soon as I was creepy, I stopped. That's a crazy admission. We showed the fucking receipts. I did. I was cringe as fuck and had a crush on that guy. I did. It's really fucking unfortunate. There was a weird power dynamic and I have all sorts of mental stuff that's fucked up. A power dynamic? There was no weird power dynamic. The power dynamic was that you weren't our friend and you didn't come over and you didn't talk to us and then you had an unrequited crush that I rejected. Now I'm bad for- Yeah, I feel like this is like a redundant warning at this point, but yeah, Jake- understandably yells a lot during this so uh prepare, yeah. your, prepare your ears um so yeah these uh these two used to be uh co-hosts on a channel together that was called the bible reloaded um and uh eventually they you know split in their own direction and started doing their own content but uh you know they shared a lot of fans you know there was a lot of commonality between the two because like you know they were they formally worked with each other for quite a long time i think it was like a decade or some shit that they were actually doing content together on a somewhat regular basis so yeah, yeah people got used to that shit and um yeah now it's just th this just blew up recently because apparently this has been an, an ongoing problem for like at least a couple of years <laughs> so it's uh it sucks to see but yeah you know, i'd rather know the truth than uh than not at the end of the day yeah that. this is crazy that's actually fucking crazy get help she apologized many times over the course of that darvoing so hard though dude she apologized i'm a creep i'm bad i'm shitty multiple times for a year for over a year that's a pattern of behavior you didn't say it once he has a good point I was so fucking delusional at that time. I literally didn't think reality was real half the time. I thought life was like a simulation, or I'm not kidding, humiliating thing that Jake is now, I have to fucking talk about because I have to explain my side of the story and my mental state. Wait, so people pause. Think I'm a pervert. I was. You, you thought that life was just some sort of simulation? Oh, it's about to get way, way worse. Honey, if you think that life is just like some sort of simulation, you should go seek mental health help. Yeah. Well, get ready for this, okay? Okay. Oh. Yeah, she is sped up. Um, Jake sped her up. Unfor I would have gone in personally and edited in these parts from Hannah's stream, but Hannah deleted her stream after this. So the only archive of this is in Jake's fucking content. I did consider like, slowing her down to try and equal it out but it did never sound right so i just left it as it was makes sense but, but let's uh let's continue on because this part's the craziest part of it all I was fucking disconnected from reality i thought i was my dnd &D character for real sometimes um ma'am for context they used to play dnd &D together and like make content on a channel it was called charisma saves um either way um ma'am look here listen i fully 100 percent support people getting help when they recognize they need help but you obviously never recognized the fact that you needed actual help and that's not a good thing Yeah, this doesn't actually get touched upon much in, in my edit right here, but consistently throughout Hannah's stream, she gets like muted by her by her current wife, whose name is, whose nickname online is is Baja. Um, and yeah, but this Baja person talks about as much as fucking Hannah does throughout the entire stream, and 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 Jake raises several good points. Again, this isn't touched upon in this in this little clip here because I wanted this to be mostly about what the issue was between Hannah and Jake. But um, but Jake does go into detail within that stream about how Hannah's partner is is likely a big problem of uh, in in why Hannah is as fucked up as she has become, 
because uh, a lot of this of the, a lot of these negative behaviors were exacerbated after uh, these two got together. So it does seem like that was a major contributing factor. But of course, you know, that's that's no fucking excuse to be acting like this. And, yeah. you know, repeatedly harassing someone in this type of way when they've made it clear that they aren't they aren't interested. Um, to be fair, at some point, Jake realizes he's yelling a lot. Yeah. Yeah, he does try and fix it a little bit later. Um, what's up, Jumbo Size Richard? I love that username. It's amazing. It's fucking great. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I was disconnected with reality when I sexually harassed you. I'm not actually a pervert. I only dissociate when I do perverted shit. Fuck you. You victimize me. I am your victim. That's not an excuse. Are you fucking kidding me? I was not medicated correctly. I was going through shit. Why is that my fault? Why am I the problem there? You weren't medicated correctly and you were acting out. How is that my fault? I get so, oh, I guess I'll just sweep the fucking sexual harassment under the rug. Reminds me of someone we know. It's okay, Jake sexually harassed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I watched like five minutes of this live. Had to bail. Didn't know who this woman is. Um, uh, Hannah Reloaded. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hannah do, like, and Jake. Together. Yeah, they had a channel together called The Bible Reloaded. Yeah, if you ever heard of that, then you're 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 familiar with these two and their work. Mud says Vaughn is the reason. <laughs> Vaughn is always the number one victim. Well, you gotta look at it from the big honking picture, you know? Also, then hi, you'll Mudball. <laughs> oh, man. What's up, Mudballs? We got, we got mud in here. Nice to see you. Asking you is what her character would do. <laughs> so, wait. Why did I ask how much? He, she's implying that her D&D &D character is absolutely 100% okay with sexually harassing another person? Yeah. No. No. Absolutely the fuck not. She can she fuck just all the way off. She was just too in character when she was doing that shit. That's her no. excuse. That's her fucking excuse. No. Oh, That's some God. bullshit because any DM worth their fucking salt would be like, you can't sexually harass someone else like no stop i don't care if this is a game like yeah don't do that shit jesus christ like oh, that's so fucking weird it's it's just the weirdest excuse imaginable but this there's a final defense here there's only about like a minute left to this but this this part's pretty bad too much jake came hey um have you hung out with any of us have you watched come Rizma saves it's literally a regular joke on the goddamn channel it's literally something that was talked about and i told you i had a creepy ass crush i didn't say i had a creepy ass crush i was i was creepy that's my fucking defense you were creepy making sexual jokes in on camera or in public it is not consent for you to pro approach someone privately and ask for sexual information it's not that's Sarah is 1,000% fucking correct. abso fucking lutely no, The was... point they make at the end is perfect. Yeah. There, there's no consent given there to approach someone privately and do that type of shit. Not at all. <laughs> no harassment. You'll have to deal with d and HR. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh... Thanks for dropping by. Uh, I hope your, your day at work goes smoothly, as can be. And how that boundary gets crossed, and you think, actually, the boundary's fine, because they're openly sexual. This is slut-shaming. This is disgusting. You shouldn't have been wearing that. Victim-blaming. Yeah, and that's the gist of it, basically. Jesus fucking Christ. Like... Yeah, I know. Look here, listen. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I do have my own issues when it comes to Jake. The first time that Jake ever interacted with me, he yelled at me when I, like, just jumped into a stream because he assumed that I was, like, a Dave sycophant. Yeah, he was a master not. Uh, And then I also 
did not like the way that he approached the quarterings dad passing away because there there was no reason to make some joke about you know oh how's your mom's wife doing like no no yeah no he's he's crossed boundaries for me and like done shit that i definitely don't fucking approve of several times but but and I, that's why i went into this subject matter with like a neutral perspective initially but yeah like the facts speak for themselves honestly yeah like I I can dislike certain aspects of Jake while still definitely not approving of anything that Hannah fucking did. No one deserves to be harassed in that sort of manner, whether you have a dick or a vagina. I do not fucking care. You do not deserve to be sexually harassed. And you should absolutely 100% call that shit out if it happens to you. Yeah, no, I agree with that 100%. And, um, yeah, I'm glad, um, even though it's fucking shitty for a lot of people to accept, because, yeah, a lot of people, you know, were fans of the two of them, uh, and they expected better of Hannah. Uh, I'm glad that we know the truth now, even if it's a, a harsh reality to figure out. But uh, with that being said, we can move on to some other shit. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, a more, a more consistent shit show. A more consistent shit show. Uh, a, a group of people that we already knew were uh, were what they are. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, Lord. Are we getting into Shani and Rev? Yeah, we're getting an old Shani and Rev. <laughs> yeah, sure are. You could tell exactly what I was talking about as soon as I mentioned that. A group of people who are no. Oh. All right. Before we, before we get into this though, um, bring this up since we have a lot of people chilling here, uh, who who might not have seen this before. So, uh, so small human, he has his nightly seizure med completely covered. Right now, the issue is his emergency diazepam. He has none because we had to use it recently, and it is. 346 a month i already got some of that from purple stuffing thank you purple stuffing and your small human y'all are fantastic uh so if you would like to help with that great if not great it's your money do with it as you please it's your money use it when you need it jg wentworth <laughs> uh is this shanny for christ yes, yes this is the modern day reincarnation of shanny for christ um the gray middle oh my god uh well thank you for chilling out I, i'm glad to have you here nice to have a, a new viewer here for a change i hope that you like that what we've been covering so far or at least our takes on it oh my god fucking ashley calling me out for saying january <laughs> january i said oh my that god. i you said did? that yes on my stream, I was talking about the month of January, and I accidentally said January, and people were Wait. like, "Did you say January?" <laughs> oh like, my god! Did I? And Seth like rewound it and was like, "Yeah, you definitely said January." <laughs> You've been spending too much time around me if you're making those types of jokes <laughs> subconsciously. Jesus Christ! I'm, I apologize I on behalf of everyone. You. Like it just slipped out, and I didn't even know. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, let's um let's hear Shanny talk at the uh at the end. Uh, I'm gonna scream, I'm gonna scream as tough as, as, as I loud. loud. <laughs> I could have been I feel like I could have been a little bit better with that transition, but let's just get into it. Um we're starting off looking at a ceiling fan, so we're off to a good start. Oh shit. This is crazy. This is How fucking riveting! No, I need prayers. You need prayers. We need prayers. Oh, allegedly they didn't get their EBT. Oh, really? Is that well? They said this. Uh, need prayers for food, jobs, and health. So maybe that's related to this. Yeah. We, as in me and Jason. <laughs> yeah, I figured. We need prayer right now. Yeah. Because our struggle has gotten even worse. Mm -hmm. What's up, Widow Son? You hey, Widow. Well, 
it, it appears, and, and I don't know what the hell's going on, but the first of the month came and our EBT did not come through. And oh. Wow, Mango. Hey. <laughs> Damn, you're fucking psychic when it comes to these dingbats. Well, here's the thing, though. Because they do have an established residence, they are not technically considered homeless by the state of Pennsylvania because... Uh, fun fact, if you live in someone else's house without paying rent, without paying the utilities, without doing anything like that, the person who's housing you has to, like, write a letter to the state to, like, say, hey, yes, they live in my house, this is how much I pay in mortgage, this is how much I pay in utilities, and they are living there. They're essentially in a tenant situation, so they're not homeless. And by Pennsylvania law and by laws in a bunch of other states when it comes to EBT, you have to meet the work, volunteer, or job training requirements to maintain your EBT. If you don't do it within a certain amount of time, they will cut you off for a full month, give you a chance to, like, do the requirements, and then restore your EBT once you provide proof of going to work for the minimum set hours, which I think is 18 a week, volunteering for 18 hours a week, or doing job training through the state for 18 hours a week. I want to see how many people think that Dave took a dumb. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I want. I just want. I want an update. One second, then we'll hop right back into this shit. That, yeah, I keep saying shit and relates into the subject matter. It's completely <laughs> unintentional too. I love it. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, we're at twenty-three votes. Oh yeah, eighty-three percent say yes. Seventeen say no. Wait, there's like, there's like competition going on here. Like a couple people actually believe Dave didn't poop his pants. Yeah, when Jake checked out on stream, he seemed like super fucking skeptical. But uh, he acknowledged there was a possibility that he shit his pants, but he he didn't seem fucking convinced, which is fair. Which is fair. We've got some we've got some Dave shitting his pants skeptics. But I know that he's done it on stream before. I know that he's done it on stream before. <laughs> Ashley said 17% bots. No, no, they're just like, they're just Dave Sock accounts. That's all. Yeah, that's it. It's just the, the two votes from a Dave Sock. Yeah, it's from it's from Lord of Patriarchy and Dave's cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh one's from the juice main. Oh. And the other is from Dave's cooking show. There we go. <laughs> juice. Dude, wait, Juice, if you're still here, please, dude, please tell me that you voted, that you didn't actually vote no. If you voted yes, then I'll at least have some shrivel of, like, you know, respect. <laughs> but please. Oh, Spherical Man said that he voted no just to troll. <laughs> oh, my. Well, of course. Yeah, Spherical Man's well, a funny. So the funny other man. one must be the Juice Man. It must be Juice. You know what, Spherical Man? You're always fucking here. I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you mod status. Woo! Yep, that's right. That's right, Spherical Man. You're a fucking moderator now. I should probably give a few other people mod, but I don't do it all at once. That's fair. But yeah, I can see it. I know that there's a ton of other people here who are worthy applicants, but Spherical Man's literally here all the fucking time, so... Alright, let's continue on with Jason and Shani. I just wanted to see where the poop pole was at. <laughs> you know? And now it's the third... And it still hasn't come through. We've tried to call them. They said it was an error. Yeah. We did get somebody the first time on the EBT line, uh, tech support, whatever. And they told us it was a clerical error and everything was okay. And we should have had it on the first. And But two days now have gone by and it's not gone through. So we're I like, don't believe that. like, what the hell? And now when we try to call the EBT... What what leads you to that conclusion besides basic common sense? Oh no, it's just basic common sense. Okay, fair enough. I was just like, all right, yeah. Hotline thing for the help. 
nobody answers and they hang our call up. So something weird's going on. Yeah, because yeah. Okay, wait. Um, Today the third, no one answered. It just hangs up. Yeah, because it's a fucking Saturday. Their hours are Monday through Friday, eight a.m. until five p.m. I think really this clueless. It's fucking Saturday. Government workers, when it comes to things like that, do not work on Saturdays. They tell you their hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. I don't think Jason and Shani have any perception of what a weekend is. Because they haven't had to care about what a week or a day of the week is for the longest time. All they care about is the first of the month. That's the only day that they fucking give a shit about. Aww. Thank you, Jilly's mom. Oh, you got to I appreciate you. you. Hell yes. Yeah. Glad to hear that shit. Hell yeah. It is weird. We're told everything's fine, no problem, and no money for it. I mean, people rely on this to live. We need prayers for food and for Jason to get a job. Yeah, sure. Of course. <laughs> Wait a minute. That reaction was just gold. He's like, um, no, I want food. I don't. Dude, you don't need fucking prayers to get Jason a job. The only one who can get Jason a job is fucking Jason at the end of the day. Well, Jason had a job. He just allegedly quit. In like, what, two months or so? Yep. Something like that. Yeah. That's absolutely fucking insane. Yeah, no amount of fucking prayer is going to make Jason any less lazy. If he's able to get a job and just can't fucking stick to it, that's fucking sad. You know what the fucking saddest part of it all is? Is like as fucking scummy and and and, and malintentioned as Shani is, she actually did suggest a perfectly good job for Jason, like way back during that meltdown Saturday stream where she told him to be a postman. Like that's a respectable job that actually would have gotten him some fucking vitamin D and some exercise. But uh, he's too prideful to do anything like that. But uh, apparently he's not too prideful to go work at Burger King. Which look, no shot, no shame in any fucking job, even being a fast food worker. Like zero fucking shame in that. It's a fucking job. But at the end of the day, it's like. It, being a postman is like no more shameful than that that's for fucking sure it's like i don't understand what this weird perception is in jason's mind like is he does he think he's too good to be a postman well no uh you have to remember he's at the time when they were in colorado and she suggested that they were smoking a bunch of weed oh true true and being a postman is a Technically, it is a federal job. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. That's probably the only reason why he was unwilling to engage in it. Because he wasn't willing to fucking quit doing that. Even though they didn't have the money to be doing it. That's fucking crazy. That too. We need prayers for that. Big prayers. What's up, Tom? Tom, nice to uh, see you. I just... It, it's just like I... I'm 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 at the point in my life where I, I Why aren't they on camera? This is kind of like uncanny. They're just pointing at at a window with some fucking blinds in front of it. Well, I mean, or, Jason uh, usually, you know, he's on camera. Rev. Yeah. But Shani the last time that she got on camera was the 31st of the of last month to give a health update and that had been the first time in a while, too. No, it wasn't. It was the first time in, like, seven days. Was There was a large hiatus, though, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, no, it was the first... Because she said, I know it's been a while since you've seen me, but seven days beforehand, she went on camera to be like, Jason is not cheating. Yo, oh, it's wrong. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I was I was confused. Before before that, like when she did the video addressing the cheating shit, that was the first time she'd been on camera in a long time. About a At month. Least... <laughs> That's a long time for them. <laughs> yeah. 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 I didn't remember seeing it. And now like they're doing this weird shit. It's strange. Holy crap. It's John Cena. Oh, my God. Ashley. <laughs> I did not just read that shit. I'm yes, you did. True enough that it I is. did. Medically, that I just I'm I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. I give up. <laughs> you never started. I surrender. Like, oh my god. 
I'm losing it. This is hilarious. This is hilariously sad. I'm really tired of struggling. How about you two, you two fucking do something for yourselves then? And not just J Jason tries to do something for yourself. How about fucking both of you actually try and do something for yourself and make something of yourself for goddamn once? When's the last time they both tried at the, at the same time? Never, right? It's always been Jason putting in the fucking effort as far as I can see. And even then, it doesn't, doesn't last for long, but at least he tries a little bit. Which is kind of hilarious because I do have a clip of Shanny from 2019 when the restraining order was in place and she was staying at the hotel it was right after the detective baja blast incident where she was like what happens when the money runs out i get a job like any other adult ma'am it's been jason, years jason has done so much for me and my family that I owe it to him to work for him and my kids, ma'am. If only she fucking meant that shit, you know? Like, she didn't fucking stand or live by that in any fucking percentage. She put her in zero percent effort the entire time. Her kids have been on CPS vacation since summer of 2022. And I can't believe it's been that long. It's almost two years, huh? Yep. Crazy. Crazy. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, let's continue on. Yeah. yeah. Everything I do is a struggle. And you know what? I'm going to be entirely frank with you. One second. Do I have the profile picture to make this even funnier? All right. Hold on, yeah. wait. Wait, hold on. Wait. Before you're frank with me. All right, yeah. I feel you. I feel but, you. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. We got to be frank second. with each other. Yes, yes, we do. Hold on. Because I know I have it. Frank. I'm Frank. You're Frank. We're all Frank. Call us an all-American fucking uh, grill, grill out. There we go. Cook out because we're a fucking couple of wieners. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Yeah. Let's, now that we're being be frank with each other. Now that's yeah. Now that we're being frank. Um. So you see, you see, you see this mess over here, right? Yes. Uh, because of the whole shadow shadowing and just how both of them look so unkempt, I dead ass until until like just like a, a second ago when I paused this, I thought that was Jason. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought that was Jason. <laughs> I thought that was Jason until I saw that like, you know, big old, you know, fat roll under her neck. I thought that was Jason. I I, I swear to fucking god. Those are some pumpkin spice looking shears. What's up, six drops? Nice to see you. <laughs> hey, six drop. That's a great way to. All right, I think we're good. We're we're done being frank with each other, right? Uh, yeah, I, I think we're good. However, comma space here. Oh there my go. god, I don't know what that is. I have no idea what the context of that is. The B stands for butt fuck. <laughs> the B stands <laughs> for butt fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we do have like uh, 27 beautiful viewers watching right now. We've had a, a good amount of people chilling out on the stream. I appreciate that shit. Apparently, TGR didn't even do a fucking stream tonight, so people were uh, people were probably angsty for uh, for something to watch like this. So thank you guys for chilling. Drop a like if you like this shit. Check out oh. these links and help out Mango if you can. Hold on, I'll repost them in just a second. Uh, small human, Mari says hi. Come I on. think you fell asleep. Uh, <laughs> here, let me. Update the uh, the total. Hell yeah! Uh, the stream is Frankenhaven now. Jesus Christ! More like Spankenhaven. All right, no, I don't know. That's that, that's that's a silly ass joke. All right, let, um, as there soon as Mango, yeah, as soon as Mango drops those links, there we go. Check out those links, guys, if you can help out Mango. It'd be much appreciated. Getting some medication for the small human. Uh, it's life saving shit. It's important. Yes, it's a uh, his emergency diazepam, which uh, last time he went to the hospital, we actually had to use his last vial of it. Uh, the total cost covers two more because for some reason his Medicaid and my insurance were like no. 
fucking ridiculous. The American fucking healthcare system, ladies and gentlemen. It's like, Jesus, take the wheel. I I can't do it anymore, Lord Jesus. I don't know how 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 to function anymore. <laughs> it's been years since you've done what I could consider to be functional behavior. You've just been so lazy for so long, you've forgotten what it's like to fucking put in effort to anything. It's sad and pathetic. I'd almost feel bad if she wasn't such a terrible fucking person on top of it all, but she is. She's one of the lowest scumbags that there is, so how could anyone possibly feel bad for her? I mean, I she has pee piggies. <sighs> yeah, I know. For some reason, some people just insist on keeping give, keep on giving her money. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I wonder how much... I wonder how much many of those people are just trying to do that so they can continue to see the car crash in slow motion that is her life. Well, there, there's a couple people that send money that are, like, newer viewers that are just, like, on Instagram. They don't really use okay. YouTube or anything. So they're not aware Sure, I just, you know, I've always I've always been curious if there's anyone who, like, sends them money with malicious intentions. You know I, mean, I mean, Jewel sent ten bucks. <laughs> I, I don't know if that was, I don't think that was with malicious intentions. Jules just loves to fuck with them. Jules is a fucking gem. I fucking love Jules. Yeah, but it, I just, I've always wondered if there's, like, if there's some fucking people out there who just, like, love watching the shit show that is their life. So they just, like, give a little bit here and there to, like, you know, just let the saga continue on. I've just, because I, otherwise, I don't know how people like this fucking continue on. I really don't get it. They, unless they have, like, a, I feel like the best way to describe Shani and Rev is, like, they've got a maxed out stat and luck, but, like, zero and everything else. Like, they've got no strength, no intelligence, no fucking charisma. They just have super high luck and just keep bullshitting themselves into enough money to fucking scrape by. It's fucking crazy. I feel like most people would have fucking gone to jail or, or lost everything a million times over by now. But they just, even though they're living on squalor, they're still alive. They still got a roof over their heads, and that's crazy to me. Yeah, that's weird shit. Definitely. Anymore. All I know is I, I just, I can't do it anymore. I'm exhausted. Yeah, physically, no, the, the mentally, one, emotionally exhausted. And the one thing we had bringing food in is not here now. Like, this is crazy. And that's it's not the really one thing bad. that was bringing you food. People have been donating to support your dumb asses. Y'all got takeout not that long ago. Takeout, got, yeah. Yeah, they got a uh, halal chicken and lamb. Yeah, that was it's posted their... very recently on their Instagram. Yeah. Let's see if I can bring it up right quick. <laughs> Dornbush. <laughs> what a fucking name. Yeah, um, it's Chris's last name. Yeah, I know. Yep, there it is right there. It was about a month ago, but not that long ago. Yeah, January 4th? Yeah, yeah. they were still splurging on this shit. Like, fuck. And completely random, with no explanation... She said she's gained 31 pounds. Yeah. Uh, so the video that she did where she gave the health update on January 31st, she said that she gained like 30 pounds. And that's, that's fucking wild because the video before that on January 29th, she was complaining about how I only had 20 pieces of pasta and a little bit of sauce, just the tiniest bit of sauce, and it gave me the worst heartburn, and I was up all night. Bitch, you're a fucking lie. You took my only food. Now I'm gonna starve. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me it was fucking perfect. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. It's perfect though, isn't it? 
<laughs> she's literally talking about gaining weight while she's like, it's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> no, she she said in her stream on the 31st that she hopes that she has diabetes so she can be prescribed Ozempic. So she can lose weight. Jesus Christ. Always trying to do it the easy fucking sleazy way, huh? And then she was like, they're they're gonna, you know, refer me to a bariatric surgeon. Bitch, you won't be able to follow the regimen for bariatric surgery. At all. Because they make you follow a diet and weight loss plan so that you can lose some weight, so you can prove that you can lose the weight before you're even considered for surgery. Like, she doesn't understand how any of this fucking works. There's no explanation. Just, oh, you're fine. There's, everything should be fine. Yeah, well, it's not. There is an explanation. Mango literally explained it within the first fucking 12 seconds. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not fine. No. There's something really wrong going on in this world right now. Did I hear a G? Yes. Oh, so you can put the effort in of a G now, but you can't put the effort into getting a job. <laughs> Jesus. And all I can say is, please, Jesus, come. Yeah. Your servants are overcome. And I, I'm i way too tired to deal with this anymore. No. <laughs> My God, this is boring. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, that, says, fuck it, I'm not going to pause because... My yoke shit. is light, so cast all your burdens upon me. He wants you when you're in, you know, some kind of trouble. He wants you to rely on him. He wants you to tell him your pro tell him your problems, and he wants to help you with your problems. So, like, I give it all to Jesus. I just like need to. So once again, she's relinquishing all effort, the effort she already wasn't putting in, and just being like, Jesus, you're the only one who can help me now. Is this just oh, her excuse Jesus. to put in even less effort than she already was? Now, see, uh, Tom Tom said Adderall slash meth seemed to take the weight off those these weirdos in Florida. Okay, so fun fact not every drug works the same for every person. Um, I myself am on Adderall. Uh, I do a 30 milligram extended release for my ADHD and autism. I can nap on that bitch. I have a full appetite on that bitch. Like, because I'm actually ADHD as shit. Shit happens. Uh, some people that use meth, some people that use speed, they can still have a full appetite and, like, just vibe. It's fucking wild. Yeah, there's a wide variety of fucking human bodies. You know what I mean? All different types of interactions. That's why some people have allergies and some people don't. Like, and that's just one example. Like, I'm not saying that's the same thing, but I'm just saying, like, you know, there's all different types of interactions that different people's bodies can have with different shit, so... It's not the same. Prayer chains yeah. to like alleviate and elevate the 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 light that's coming through and and just make it shine as bright as possible. And what a bunch of nonsense. As a beacon of hope. Um just spewing up a bunch of fucking pleasantries with nothing to actually back up what she's saying. Excuse you. She's a priestess. She oh. is Correct. The priestess for Jesus. And Jesus comes out of her mouth whenever she's weak. What? Did you actually say it like that? <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> What's up, Serenity? Didn't it just get off the internet, Shani? Yeah, I. you'd hope so, but... 
The Lord said he will provide, and I believe in him. Me too. Don't I feed the crows in the field? He says, I believe him. This is absolutely pathetic. I believe pathetic. he will feed me. I believe he will help my husband get a job that the Lord wants him to have. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Not help me get a job. Not help me and my husband get a job. Help my husband get a job. Like, even in this fucking fantasy scenario where Jesus comes down and fucking oh. saves the entire planet, Shani's not getting a job. Well, no, because, you see, she's too weak and disabled, and she has all these appointments lined up for blood work and mammogram and the vaginal opening that gets put into the system, the underside of her boob. <laughs> oh my god well, all right well jesus yeah she said you have to put two slits in it like a vaginal opening i i miss out on like two days of content <laughs> and this shit happens like, hell. and i believe that god will help me get my health in order so i can live to see Waiting for Jesus to fix it. It's done a whole lot this far, hasn't it? See my sons graduate and become the men that they're meant to be. Shut the fuck up. That's all that matters to me in this world. Everything else, I don't, I don't care. And then why are you just here begging for fucking food instead of going out there and doing something that could actually get you to potentially have your fucking children back? Like getting a job, doing the things that you actually need to do in order to fucking get your children back? Uh, but she'll never do it. She's doing the court ordered uh or the CPS ordered teletherapy. Oh, okay. But you know that she lies to that therapist all the fucking time. Oh, I'm you're absolutely fucking sure of it. I think we all are. Uh, you know, I just I I just, you know, I want my husband to feel secure. I want to feel secure. Mm -hmm. Uh pause. I want my Um your boyfriend because y'all aren't legally married and the state of Pennsylvania does not recognize common law marriage after 2015 um, your your boyfriend would be more secure without you let's yeah, be fucking for real no because cap, yeah. his uncle owns the house that you are currently staying in Without you, even after you drained all of his money, he could live at his uncle's house. He could do work with his uncle. He could do manual labor. He could be set. He could be happy. He could be healthy. He could eat his own fucking food. You are the fucking problem. Yeah, she you pretty stick. much always has been. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the what's the common denominator when it comes to a lot of the fucking shit? It's all Shanny and her, her, her machinations or her breakdowns. Her general scheming. It's fucking pathetic. Health back, and I want my sons to know that I will love them forever and evermore. You don't show it. And I want to I want to see them. No, you don't. Come who they treat. You're not even willing to put in a slight bit of fucking effort to do so. Shani said in October of 2023 that her sons do not need her anymore because they're young men. They do not need her to raise them anymore because they're young men. I remember her saying that. And they are 14. Just Keep her trying to shriek off and relinquish responsibility like she has been throughout this entire fucking video by telling Jesus to take the wheel on her life. She's been saying that same fucking bullshit for years and years. Where's that gotten her? We are, because that's always what I my wish was as a mother is for them to become who they want to be, not who I want them to be. And I'm, I'm... You didn't treat your children like children or young men, as she would fucking say it. She, she treated them like a fucking meal ticket. At most. Yeah. That's the and saddest she, fucking thing. She allowed her boyfriend, who's not even their father, to say that they are financial burdens. Said the most vile fucking shit. That's not even the fucking tip of the iceberg with the shit yeah. that Jason did to fucking probably fuck with their heads and purposely trying to do so too, just being a dickhead. Terrible.
I'm very proud of them because they're very good, good people. Yep. That's right. Very good people. And if you know, if you know our, uh, you know, our different financial app, app, uh, addresses and you can Jesus fucking Christ Jason that was quite the fucking sentence help us please do you know it's rough this is not any begging video it's for prayer but <laughs> if you can it would help us need oh prayers my. for food jobs and health they're but, what else is that but them expecting their pay pigs to come rescue them if if you know our financial addresses and you want to help us out, please do so. Dude. They've been repeatedly trying to egg on donations throughout all this shit. This is just them trying to sympathy fucking pull. Tremendously. Yeah, man. Because this was not a... This was unforeseen. Yes, Completely was. unforeseen. Yes, it was, but my instincts was saying something's not right. I knew it. Yeah, you were right. Yeah, I knew it. Because y'all don't wow. need the job, the volunteer or job training requirements to get your EBT. Jesus fucking Christ. This is your own doing. They have nobody to blame but themselves. They haven't even put in the fucking slightest ounce of effort. Like, it's, it's terrible even notice yeah and we didn't get that well he said it was literally a clerical error i know with whack one how long will it take for them to fix it that, that's a long story and explanation that, that that mango knows the best better than the rest of us but um, shanny fucking forced herself on rev like literally at her at his fucking doorstep and yeah. at the over time she blew all his fucking money until he had nothing left and and now it's impossible for him to break away because he doesn't have jack shit. I mean, he could still do it, but it'd be uh, a lot harder, basically. Jason is a very dependent person. He is dependent on other people. He was dependent on his mother, and then she passed away. Rest in peace, uh, Mrs. Egroff. And while he was living alone, he became dependent on someone else. Uh, and then Shani jumped into the picture because she found out that he had money and pretty much forced him to be dependent on her. He was wet brained by Shani, forced to quit drinking, got wet brained. Shani is absolutely 100% lucky that he didn't fucking die during that. Especially with, like, the major seizures he had. Jesus Christ. But he's he's dependent on her. And she knows that he is paranoid and dependent. And she took advantage of that. Because she's a leech. The worst type of leech. I know Shani was his first everything, but still, only good things will come his way can only break away from Shani. Yes. You're absolutely correct, Mari. Uh, some of the job training can be done on computer. Yes. Tom, Tom, you're 100% correct on that too. Uh, a lot of times when the state gives you job training, they will offer you the chance to do a lot of that training from home. The serenity, it might be Stockholm Syndrome. By the way, Anna stepped away for a second, so I'm going to talk to you guys. Him having no backbone doesn't help. You were also correct. <laughs> he has zero backbone. Whatso fucking ever. Never has had one, never will have one. He's a bitch. Let's be honest. One thousand percent. Shit. Bitch. Fuck. Oh shit. All right. Uh, sorry. Wait. Wait. We're talking about Jason's backboner. Uh, one second. His backboner.
Sorry, I had to close my door. Yeah, you know, back boner. And anyway, um, all right, I'm back. Hmm. I'm back boner. How's everyone doing? Oh boy. All right. That sorry, I had to clean my bong. Oh, you're good. It was in desperate need of a cleaning. I'm not gonna take in some of that shitty ass, you know, butt smoke. You know, I ain't doing it. I I ain't doing it. That's for sure. All right, let's continue. Let's continue on here. Thank you for holding down. Thank you for holding the reins while I was gone. Of course. Yeah. I don't know. Exactly. In the meantime, we're just in a very bad spot. It was very bad. Our food. No, they don't have work train in here. They got rid of it here. They closed the office in Scranton. That's yep. unheard of. I called the number and it said it was a, 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 this number's no longer in service. I can't believe that. They just shut it down. It's because there was people always outside the building. I remember driving by that all the time. There would be a line, literally, a block. They couldn't of, handle they it. They couldn't handle it. There's too many people that need Oh, help. you're full of shit. Oh, yeah. No, they definitely are. I can't believe that they're trying to, like, spin this type of fucking bullshit. Right in front of our eyes, too. Like, this is a conversation I could picture them having behind closed doors, but have, saying this right here and we know they're fucking full of shit is absolutely reprehensible. Um, maybe it's something like bad company is better than no company for Rev. Him not wanting to be alone is probably a big factor. Sad. Yeah, that's a, it's a good way to look at it. He probably is afraid of being alone, but he's better off alone than with this fucking leech. Yeah. So they just shut it down. They didn't double down and get another building and move to a different building and have facilities for people to wait appropriately. Yeah, they called them on a fucking Saturday. <laughs> not outside. There's literally people outside the building. Don't you love the government? No, but we can bomb now more Middle Eastern people. Okay. Yeah. There's wow. That, that. There's some random ass fucking virtue signaling out of nowhere. Like you're anyone to fucking talk. We know how you voted in recent years. That though, it's unbelievable, disgusting, ridiculous country at this point. <laughs> It's pathetic. We don't want to feed our people. We want to bomb let's, people. Let's bomb brown people again. Let's be racist some more here. In and I know that our soldiers were attacked. Uh, and wow, this is the saddest, most desperate fucking bullshit I've ever heard. We know that they don't give a shit about these like social issues or anything like that. Back when they had money, they could give a fuck less. But now that they need help. They've completely fucking changed their point of view on things. People like this are everything wrong with America. People who are only out in it for themselves and can't even be bothered to actually put in the effort to help themselves. It's fucking ridiculous. And that's horrible. But could we talk first? Do we have to go to bombing immediately? And this is Biden, who's supposed to be Democratic Party, which is, hey, hell no, we won't go. We don't like war. Amen. I'm with that. But now they're like, war is great, man. Let's get the wars. Yeah. What the hell I'm going for on? the progressive movement. Me because too. they're the yeah. only movement that's actually talking about health. Are you fucking kidding me? Penny's in her fucking pseudo-progressive arc? You have got to be fucking kidding me. No, no fucking way. They're gonna try and, like... What latch on to fucking bread tubers now? What's next? Is that gonna be their next fucking grift? Are they gonna be like, oh yeah, we're a couple of Bernie bros? I, I swear to God, if that's the next goddamn angle, you're gonna see me talking about these dipshits a whole lot fucking more because that's some of the most reprehensible fucking shit I could possibly imagine. We've seen how you fucking talk. We've seen the policies that you believe in. We've seen the politicians that you support. You can't just fucking pull a 180 like this and pretend like, oh, yeah, we're progressive, you know? I hate racism, you know? Power the little guy. You only care about that fucking shit once you have absolutely fucking nothing. We've sh it's been shown that when you have the money to fucking blow, you, you spend it on nobody but yourselves. You're the most selfish, self-centered fucking people. Don't put on this fucking disguise of caring about, like, the working class. It's the most insulting shit I could possibly imagine. Fucking Christ, this is terrible.
This is fucking terrible. They're fighting live? Who's fighting live? Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Don't care, I'll take it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on here? She's crying? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? <laughs> what, did the Bernie brothers not give you enough money? Quit your crying! Oh my god, that's fucking ridiculous, man. I, I, I can't believe this. Yeah, we got those crocodilian tears. <laughs> fucking hell. Thank you, dude brothers, for letting me know about this. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking... Why is this so funny? Why is this so funny to me? Alright, one second. I... I wish I could say something in chat, but... Stop your mumbling and stumbling. Jesus fucking Christ. Pull yourself together, woman. Pull yourself together. Jesus Christ. I can't believe this. This is the most pathetic display I've ever seen in my life. This, is, this ain't even good for a fucking sheep laugh. This is the worst thin. This is the worst thin ever. This is the worst fucking thin I've seen in my entire life. I don't even know if I want to continue with this because she ain't even doing nothing. But I guess it is live, so. By the way, Mango did have to step away for a bit, so you guys are stuck with just me for now, but. They're alive. Careful, Carrie might come after you. Oh my god. We've got some joiners here. We've got some joiners. Oh, I'm back. She's live right now, and they're fighting. Oh my god, yes. Let's go. And now, well, she's just doing her, cro her crocodile tears right now. All right, so you know what, Tony? I see that you're there. Call her a ham bone. Call her a fucking ham bone or something. I, I don't know. You don't have to do it, but I think it'd be hilarious. If you, if anyone has an Instagram account, since I can't do it, go like, go call her like an insult that's overtly silly. <laughs> you know? Nothing too offensive, but just ridiculously stupid insults. Yeah, I can always say you're alone and I sit next to you day after day. Yeah, yeah look at the words you said to me. <laughs> look at the words you said to me. I only asked a question. I'm changing the title of Shanny for Christ Meltdown. How did I guess? <laughs> No, you're not going to do this. Yeah, how why I don't do you that? explain how, how I can How you? did I do that? You constantly putting intentions and words in my mouth. And... Ooh. What other intention do you think what I'm going to think when someone no, says, send my pics here? This is how No, it's not. silence somebody with constant See, questions. you're uh, upping your voice and you won't let me finish this so people no, hear. I'm, why I'm, don't you listen to the question? Bullshit. Why would you say, send my pics here? If you Instead didn't want to see them, IG, yeah, you must yeah, impulsively yeah. It's send more it. like hiding shit from Shannon. No. Oh, it's not. Oh, then what is it for? I was right sitting right here when I typed it. Then what is it for? So you never see anything. And IG. hiding shit from Shannon. Oh, okay. You want to see her nudes? If she's gonna send it to you, yeah, I want to see, see what them? she sends you. Then don't oh. complain when she sends nudes. Yeah. Oh you my wanna god. You want to see them. That's the thing. You're implying that, putting intention I on I think it. you have feelings for the girl. You gaslight me every time. Ooh. Face to Jason. I don't know her. No. Man, stay strong, King. I don't love people. Jesus I Christ. I don't know her. But she's from Draven's Crypt. Yeah. Of course she is. And Draven made it clear. Now I want you to make sure you know that I don't tell anybody to do anything. I believe him. 
I don't think he told her to do it. She did it on her own volition to give some. Why is this guy's to... name always yeah, coming up? Yeah, to say horrible things to me that aren't even fucking true. Everything's perspective, honey. Yeah, well, apparently I have a low self-esteem, but yeah, a narcissist. The two don't match. Which one is it? Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, which one is it? You're an enigma, let's put it that way. Wow, she just called. I'm a hurt woman because I saw my husband do something that I didn't think he promised me he would never do again. Jason just called Shani the N-word. <laughs> and, you, and you get mad at me for feeling bad about it? I don't care. And then you say, I'm gaslighted? And keep screaming, too. Go Based. Ahead. I'm upset. How could I not be upset? Nothing to be upset about. I There's nothing know. to be... Oh, I so it's okay anything. for women to send pics to you. Is it okay for guys to send you dick pics? No. I didn't ask her for one picture. Except no. the ones that get sent to, to your protect email. protect your insecure ass. Yes. Oh, because it makes me insecure. You are. Yeah, you want to see that stuff, though. No, I don't use the email. Yeah, I wonder why it's called Eager Beaver Pleaser. Yeah, you know, wonder. Oh, Eager Beaver Pleaser. <laughs> yeah, it it says something. Oh, sure it does. Of course. It does. <laughs> the name of the YouTube channel is Rev and Shanny because I really oh, like doing content with you and I you never know. even like doing that. I'm I was constantly asking you to fucking sing. Smoke. I've been abused. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why do I know you haven't when I've been abused so bad? I'm done. I do done nothing but take care of your ass. Why? And then you hurt me. I could just be abused by you. How am I abusing you? This. Oh, really? Asking questions over something you did and I is abusive. Every question, truthfully. Yeah. Well, that email is all I, there is. I can't seem to get it past me when someone says, send the pics here. I, I don't care. I really love I don't tattoos. Care what you think. Once this care. ends, we're watching yeah, the rest of it. I know you don't care. That's why you posted it. The intention was to so you never saw new to her again because you're so insecure you can't handle seeing her body. Oh. And you think I like Jesus. that? <laughs> Putting intentions on me where there are none. Yeah, that's why you said it, huh? You deleted the pictures real yeah. fast. That's why you said it. What? I said send them here, not IG. Ever. Yeah, good. I'm glad you can get your titty and crotch. <laughs> yeah, I never even look, look at the emails. Did. I never look at that email address ever. I never look at it. Ever. <laughs> never. Thank you, small human. I don't care. I don't care. You put intentions on me. You put words in me. I'm not putting yeah, words you in did. you. I'd you say did. exactly you did. You what did. You, you said. You, did. you put words in my mouth. What words did I put in your mouth? Heart, heart, bullshit. You send her a lot of hearts. Man, I wish I could just comment my... in chat like Jason, throw her out. It's over. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> Does it get your soda? Oh my god, this fucking idiot's standing for Shani. It's true. I swear to god, if I could talk right now, I'd yeah, say the most heinously... No, I'd true. get cancelled if I could talk to that person, because de defending Shani is the worst thing imaginable. Yeah, keep, keep trying to turn it around on me, I see. <laughs> turn it around on you, honey. <laughs> There's multiple people defending Shani here. I'm so sick of my heart being broken. You do it to yourself. I didn't do oh. shit. Yeah. There's no intention here. I'm telling you, there was no intention. None. No sexual intention at all. None. Is everyone in here on crack? Doing crack and cocaine. To get high. Oh my god. I. 
zero sexual. I'm about to have to make a third fucking Instagram account, uh, aren't I? This is like actually making me fucking furious right now. Zero. There's more than three people unironically that, saying wait. Shani's right here. Mm -hmm. That was on your, your links. Mm -hmm. Don't you love pop-ups that install stuff on How your desktop? How do you think I should feel if it was you? How would you feel about it? I would look at the reality of the situation that we are trolled by a quite a few people and our emails and our even our personal addresses. Yeah, but here's the thing. You still talk to her regardless if you know she's a troll or That's not. That's a separate fucking issue. You're talking about this Ancia girl. You were there from the fucking beginning. I didn't say anything to her. I didn't even know what you were yes, talking to her about. Yes, because you don't even care who gives us money anymore. I want, why would I want to talk mm. to anyone over everything I've gone through? Go, whatever. You don't even oh. hear people. I, I have think people. I do. I thank people. I keep track of who fucking gives money to us, and I go to say thank you. That's what I was doing with her. That's it. Because somebody said this. But yeah, you guys are talking about you moving to Norway together. No, she suggested that me and you go for a visit. That's it. Nothing else was discussed. You're making stuff up. I'm not making it. Yes, you up. are. What am I making up? That we were going to move there. You've been talking about moving there. Get the fuck out of this country. Anywhere. I don't care. If then you say I'm making it up. You admit that I said that. that I've been wasn't talking about getting it it out of this country anywhere. It is not Norway anywhere. No, you've been talking about Norway for quite a while. Yeah, because we started talking to someone trying to. No, make you friends. started talking. You talked to to this woman. Now you're gonna barely about because that. you brought her in our lives. Barely. See how you fucking lying sack of shit. Oh, such a liar. Oh, really? Who's the one who first initiated conversation? Because a, per me. because a person gives money and I go say thank you. It's bringing another woman into our relationship, you psycho. Obviously. You're an idiot. You are a fucking psychotic. I idiot. am when you're talking about moving to Norway and then wanting to see your pics. Fuck you, Shannon. Fuck you. Based. Yeah. You used me and my family. I didn't use oh, you. I yes, loved you, you. You're disgusting, and you used my family. Oh, you're just saying that just to say it. It's Sydney, it's this is live. Then no, it really is. You're gonna have to be on the street, and I don't know what you're gonna do. Good for you, Jason. I don't know what you're gonna do. Good for you, Jason. Hopefully, we could both find a halfway house. Good for you, Jason. Because you destroyed this relationship. I didn't destroy this relationship. By what? Just asking you about this shit? Smashed it apart. For no asking reason. you about this shit and being upset because you're saying this no stuff reason. behind my back? No reason. Oh, oh, I ruined it. You did. Because I asked questions about it Smashed and I'm upset it about for it. For no reason. And then you can say, I'm crazy. That's yep. what men do to gaslight women. I'm crazy. I'm horrible. You are. You're being <laughs> horrible. How? By asking questions? Which I told you the truth of everything. And you continue yeah. to gaslight like me. When have I given you one ad hom? In, and put intentions. How many ad homs have you given me? I don't give a I'm fuck I'm just asking questions What? Here. What is this G plus ad homs? I'm just asking questions Ooh. here. Don't talk like that. I'm just asking questions. Ad homs. You're in G plus again. Go have those people. As You've gaslighted me like this. I don't care. I'm not gaslighting you at all. I'm telling I'm you telling why I'm you upset. The truth. I'm telling you why I'm upset. And you brought me into this hell with these people. Oh, yeah. I brought you into you it. You did. Yeah, I did. Rand That's... Campbell needs to talk to you. So what? Not Rand Campbell. What was going to happen? I didn't know there was going to be psychopaths. Yeah, you did. Oh, you I did. All right, the cat's angry. And the type of people that was around him. I didn't know they would go as far as they did. Yeah, right. You brought me right into it. Oh, yeah, it's my fault. Yes, it is. You brought me into it. God, you're so mean. It's all true. You take no it is true. 
taking responsibility for yourself. You brought yourself into no, it. No, you called me on the phone and said, get in this room with Rand Cam. Yeah, I thought you and Rand would talk to each other. He wanted to talk to you, you so I just me relayed a message. It doesn't mean I brought you into something. But you can continue with the old things you say just to hurt me when I'm not saying anything to hurt you. It turns you. out most of the G plus people are probably sick happy. Maybe. I don't know the truth about what they are. No. I don't know them. Oh, don't you know them? Not really. Why did you call me to bring me into a room? Because he asked about you, so I was like, okay, I'll get him. He didn't him. even know me. He, he asked about you. I went in that room. What more do I have to say, gone. Jason? You got me in that room and oh you left. God. I had to take care of my kids. And not only that, they only had so much room. And I said, I'll leave so he could talk to you. Mm -hmm. With these people, I never even seen Christians like this. I didn't know the difference. You didn't know that. Yeah, sorry, I've kind of gone no, silent, but like, I'm, I'm not that. just going to let people in the comment I, section just. I'm just, I'm so invested in this argument right now. Fair enough. <laughs> I already told you. Why would you think I'd care who Rand Campbell was? Who was Rand Campbell to you at that time? It's just someone I just met. Why would you call me and ask him to go in the room? Because he wanted to talk to you. It's really fucked up and weird. These people, I don't even have a clue. In. What is your fucking paranoia now it's toward paranoia. me? It's not paranoia at all. What paranoia is it? I don't do anything other than love you. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what you do to people you love. What did I do? I came on here to make a statement that I love my wife more than anything. Yeah, I'm you saying. sure showed it. Yeah, and then you started attacking me on air. It's no, disgusting. I didn't attack you. I asked a question. Go do reaction videos it. and reveal it, guys. What she did to me. I was being nothing but supportive of you, and you attacked me. How did I attack you? How? Go see it, guys. How did I attack Go you? Go see it. How did I attack you? Check it out, guys. How did I attack you? By asking a question? Question. Yeah, asking a question is attacking, right? On video, I was nothing but supportive of you. You attacked me. No, I asked a question. No, you attacked me. I asked a question. And which you still have not answered. Contrary to popular belief, guys, I am not completely cuffed. I'm not. Oh. So when I get gaslit to this point, you're going to I'm not it. gaslit. Yeah, you, you have I the whole asked time. a question. The whole time you gaslit. I asked a question. From the fucking moment you started How did I gas? Do you know what gaslighting even yes, means? Yes, I do. Okay, then how did I try to refer to what's going on exactly by asking a question that you that came out of your mouth? I have answered your question a billion times. You don't see the problem with what you said. No. Oh, yeah. I worded it badly. I did. It sounded like you were coming on to her and you were sneaking around. That I will own because it did sound that way. I will own that. Yeah. I guess I'm not a pig anymore because that's the only problem I had, but you couldn't answer it. But I'm telling you, you're. But I'm so abusive. You're, yes, you are, because you gaslit me to a point where I fucking flipped I out. I didn't you. gaslight yes, you. you. Fucking dead. No, I didn't. You're putting intentions on me that I did not have. That's gaslighting. I see what you write. And the intention was not sex, or to see her fucking tits or pussy. So why I, do you keep saying you want to go to Norway? Because I want out of this country. Hello, Moo. Yeah, convenient that the girl that's been coming on to you and you keep talking to. Because she's the one saying, come here. Hello, Boba Fett. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. I that go to yeah, go to her, her then. Good, I will. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <Such> a... 
you are you you would drive the most sane person in the planet nuts and go to her i know i'm nothing don has a point Don't in the you chat remember that this is all fake anyway i know i'm nothing don i know i'm nothing in the chat yeah you are nothing but oh, i love you this is just gross yeah, why are you lying you are nothing you are, <laughs> you'll be loving tomorrow but i love you True. <laughs> And you aren't nothing. You made two kids that are really good kids. <laughs> oh, they're already not making nothing, up. They're already making actually, up. That's not accurate. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. No, you're not. You are not. You are She's going to threaten to unalive herself soon. <laughs> you're a good mother to two really good No, she's kids. not. That's what you are. They're in CPS care, you dumb bitch. On their heart, and they want you in their lives. You are not dirt. Shannon, Shannon, my love, you are not dirt. You, you that's not what you say out of your mouth. I swear, I mean, no. How do you mean? You do? Do you realize all the horrible things you just said about me? And they're true, but I. I'm a narcissist. It's true. Oh God! Yes. That whatever you do act narcissistic. You literally said you know what God was thinking, right at this moment. I know what God feels about adultery. Yes, and I did cheat. Ever lust in your heart? I never cheated on you. Period. Remember, dream it, I get what I deserve, right? I deserve a bunch of men to cheat on me and break my heart, right, Draven? Which I never did. And yeah, he would tell you, you do deserve it. He would say that. Ooh. I deserve to be torn apart as a person, right? You're going to make a lot of money on this video, man. They're going to make a lot of money on this. I don't care. Good job. I didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. Other than cry <laughs> and ask a question that you can't seem to handle. You brought it all this on yourself. It's amazing. You're the one who turned on the camera. You turned on it. That's right. And I was saying I, I, my, I love my wife. She's everything to me. But yeah, you say the most awful things to me. Yeah. Because you came against me live for no reason. I can't ask a question and be upset over something. I answered it. Oh, because I, I, I said something how I feel. I told the truth. And, and I like answered it. the question. Because it doesn't make you, you look good. Like me. It doesn't make you look good. If I say no, that isn't what happened. It doesn't make you look good. I don't really care. Doesn't. It really does. I don't care. I know my intention. Well, good. I know my intentions. And That's they're great. Pure. No, they're, yeah, you might think they are. They are. I just wanted to love you. No, you're not pulling that shit. That's no. That's true. All I do is love you. There's no way. The things you just said to yeah. me is not love. I ignore all of the truth. You ignore you. all of the truth. Yeah, keep making me look bad. Who's gaslighting who? No, I'm not making you look bad. It's, oh, it's oh! You're making me look good then. It's the circumstance of how we met. Yeah. Okay. And I don't care about any of that. I love you over all of it. Yeah, that's why you say awful things to me. They're just the truth. I think I got that yeah, dumbass fucking Shannon defender to go fuck off. Truth, right? <laughs> Piece yeah, of shit. Right. Genuinely re-examine yeah. your life, you fucking yeah, scumbag. Right. Except the ad hominems, which are not. Fuck. True. Yeah, like I'm, I'm a fucking narcissist. That's you are a narcissist. That ain't in my psychological profile. You're that wrong. is a lie. You're lying. How? When you get pushed, you become narcissistic. I'm not being narcissistic. I'm asking yes, a question. Yes, you are. How am I being narcissistic you for being bothered you when you're saying you want to see God. another one? You pictures. said that you're on God's throne and you know his thoughts. I know how he feels about adultery. Yes. And I didn't cheat, you bitch. Oh. I didn't. Cheat. Tell her. There you go. Calling me names again. You are a bitch because you're accusing me of things I didn't do. Well, Adultery. How do you expect me to feel when I, I see something care. like that? I don't care. 
You should. I don't. If you love me, you care. I won't allow you to give me a heart attack at 40. You're 39. Because my dad dropped dead from a bad heart. And I'm not going to allow you to do that to me, to kill me. Even though it'll be a gift at this point. Oh. Oh. It'll be a gift if he drops dead. The start of this woman, and it's just because you see her as attractive. You think she's an attractive girl that wanted me. Well, guess what, Shannon? She was just working for Draven. She was working for reaction channels to get something. Which she never got, because I never said, I want to see your fucking tits. I want to see your fucking pussy. Here's my dick. None of it, because it didn't happen. No infidelity took place. Zero. None. I'm not guilty of adultery. And that's the truth, Shan. Because I love you. Yeah, but you say the nastiest thing you said to me. Yeah, adhoms were disgusting. And I fucking want to kill myself for that shit. Ad hominems, because they're not true. The ad hominem attacks, where I'm saying you're disgusting, X, Y, Z, they are not true. They're just anger coming out of a bipolar individual. You are not. I think you're just mad because you got caught. Okay, no, I'm not. I look, I wouldn't have been mad at all at anything. But you kept putting intentions where there are none. I had no sexual intentions towards this woman. Real now, quick, we have almost forty you watching. None. Check out these links if you can support this lovely co-host of mine. <laughs> Because I feel fulfilled completely by you. I'm not, though. Because you look at other women. I don't, though. Yeah, you Not do. in that way. I do not look at other women. Okay, you look way. at them sexually, then. What do you mean, sexually? The pornography thing, Jason. Yeah, I know. That's a, that's a, a fucking porn addiction problem. Yes. Yeah, and then you lie to me and say you don't do it, but yet you do it. It's not lying, man. I'm telling you. If I slipped and that happened on January 11th, I don't remember it. I don't remember it. That's what? convenient. You could say that, but talk to Ellie. Talk to my therapist about it. She will tell you porn addicts are, are compulsive, and they can look at shit and not even fucking remember the next second that they looked at it. It's impulsive. And if I did it again, I am so sorry. And I mean that. Because that's an agreement between us that we won't do. We're, that would not be something that's in our relationship. I'm me. pissed. Even though you've said, let's watch Spartacus with me. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's missed signals, honey. <laughs> It's true. What? It's true. What does Spartacus see, have to do with this? You want me to stop Spartacus this got to do with it? That's porn. Yeah, and we haven't watched it anymore, have we? Because I just wanted to know the story. Whatever. The story you of know Spartacus. I'm a porn addict, and that shit's pornography. <laughs> Spartacus is porn. porn. Well, good. Spartacus is porn. Good you, yeah, good for you. You have an Shannon. excuse to make me look like I'm horrible. It's pro Shannon. I'm horrible because I wanted to see a show now. Because you know I'm a porn addict and it could trigger me into seeing porn. I didn't know that. Yes, you do. Oh, so it's my fault what you do. It's your fault for triggering it. <laughs> <laughs> now who's laughing at someone that's mentally ill and has problems? You let me. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
what you've done. You show, you show what you do to me, though. You do. You're showing it right now. You just... I'm not doing anything. Yeah, okay. They'll see it. <laughs> I just said the best thing ever. <laughs> Same thing as drinking in front of an alcoholic. Let's watch Spartacus. Blood and <laughs> it's not porn, Jason, but okay. <laughs> Jason, it's not porn, but okay. <laughs> like, I mean, the show, I'm yes, sorry, maybe, Jason. but I, you really movie, no. In here, this is pornography. I like it. Oh, lighten up. I like it. Based. I just wanted to know the story. That's cool, Gina. He, I watched it with my dad. It's a fucking parody movie, is it oh not? God. I did, though. You we didn't look at it in a sexual it. way. We just looked at it oh, in a historical yeah. way. <laughs> a historical lens on Spartacus. What? Fuck. Make fun of me. I don't care. I don't care. Laugh at me. I'm Everyone not laughs at That's me. That's shocked. I'm shocked. Everyone laughs at me. It doesn't make any difference. It's not laughing. I'm shocked. That's not normal to watch with your father. Well, I did. It's not normal. I watched The Walking da Dead with my dad, too. Yeah, there's not pornography in The Walking Dead. It's open pornography, Spartacus. I think some people will disagree to that. But of course. Yeah, okay. They show pussy and dick. It's porn. And you're mad at me? Yeah. Why don't you just go get a bottle of scotch and dump it right in front of me, Shannon, in a glass? No, I don't buy alcohol. You do. Ooh. Unbelievable. You're so disgusting to me. There you go, calling me disgusting again. Too mean. You're disgusting too mean. Why? When when I wipe your ass for you. <gasps> Why am I, I disgusting? What I did I do? You. I clean you like a nurse. <laughs> you said yesterday how gentle I am with you. That's love. And you do Oh this. my God. I'm not deep deep doing deep. anything to yes, you. Yes, you are. We got confirmation oh, that Jason yeah. wipes her ass. You want to turn the wow. And on. you are the one that started attacking me when I was supporting you. I didn't attack you. I asked a question. I'm done. They will see it. I asked a question. Because they all seen it anyway because she sent it to them. You're disgusting to me. I'm disgusted for asking a question. No. I said you are disgusting to me. Why am I disgusting? To me? Why? You keep eliminating me. You do that all the time to me. Like I don't exist. You want to nullify my existence. What That's are you how talking much you about? hate me. You hate me so much that you want to see me be nothing. What am I saying? That's why you do the you drug did the thing. You're saying Colorado. I'm gaslighting you, you're gaslighting me and saying intentions that are That's not. That's why true. you yeah, you took me to Colorado. I mean, I took you to Colorado to get me away from everybody that I ever knew. Oh my God. To smoke weed. Oh my God, Jason. It's true, Shannon. No, and you I asked me where I would want might, to go in order to save even, the relationship. Yeah, because you, you said Boulder's Dry County, which was totally untrue. I, it was, used to be. Totally untrue. It was untrue. I thought it was. Yeah, let's go smoke weed, Jason. That's not what was said. Let's go. No. I said I was but happiest that's what you did. in Colorado. That, that's cool. But that's what you did. And, and every day, three times a day, <laughs> sometimes you go to the dispensary. He's just using so much money. Small yeah, human seems so amused by this. $300 at a dispensary. time. Dispensary. Oh, evil. And you would just smoke weed all day. <laughs> Lord Jesus, help me. You would just help smoke weed me, all Lord. Day. All day. Help me, Lord pathetic. Jesus. Fucking pathetic. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. I'm mad. I don't know if you can tell. I'm mad. Help me, Lord Jesus. I'm fucking entertained. I'm fucking. <laughs> I 
this run, what you're saying to me. I lost my identity. It's wrong what you're saying to me. This is truth. It's all true. I, I loved through. you. I loved you too. There's there's love here. There is definite love. But all you're doing is trashing me and you don't even care. Yeah, you How much you're hurting me. You Whoa. first talked about you let's not me. try to get Shannon to be suicidal, but you're trying everything to hurt me in every way possible. You're because I told you doing something I did behind my back. I did nothing. Who's really gaslighting? I did nothing. You're talking to women behind my back and telling them to Never send pics to you. You Never did it. Liar. Have a heart attack. Go ahead. You work yourself up Whoa. so much. I hope I do. For no reason. I hope I do so I don't have to deal with heartache anymore perpetual, by anyone. Perpetual victimhood. Oh, my God. I, I do need some popcorn. Like, I should go pop some. All right. Yeah, go get some. You would abuse like this. I didn't abuse you. Yes, you have. I asked a question. For every second of this video. I, I didn't even say any name to you. Yeah, you I didn't call you any name. I bipolar person to the point where they can't see straight. I asked you a question. This is yes. a meltdown. And you keep Dinah. saying bipolar. I have no. BPD. I don't care. What the difference does it make? We have both are. There's a, there is a unstable. difference, but yeah. Yeah, but it's all about you. Nope. That's what you do. I try to always hold my shit back. You don't, though. You've called me every name in the book. Yep. You triggered it. You pushed me right over the edge. Yeah, and you have no self control. Because the only thing I was... That, that's I true. triggered it by asking a question? Yep, yeah, you triggered it by putting intentions that weren't there. When I see... I don't care! I don't say that. I don't care. Please send the pictures here, not on IG. Wink heart. Which never happened. The emojis I love tattoos. Yes, I do. I love tattoos i do and i already saw her pictures i didn't give a shit i just didn't want her posting anything on ig again so that i have a bad day where you treat me like shit all day for it some other woman sending her tits to me True. Yeah, and then you say send pics here. If I got mad at you every day for all the dicks you get. I don't get any dick pics. I don't, I don't get any dick pics. I don't. I don't. Prove it. Yeah. Oh my god, he's mocking her. <laughs> We've got this fucking soy boy simp defending Shani in the goddamn chat now. I don't. No, you just have this has become my new personal like, fucking so vendetta. Cool. People who defend Shani on When's ironically. When's the last time I got a dick pic, Jason? I don't care. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. You're probably, just spitting shit out of your mouth. Probably 10 a.m. today on Facebook. Go look. Doesn't bother me. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. At all. It means nothing to me. But yet you want to go and accuse me of something that's not true. Yeah. You get dick pics sent to you all the time. No, I haven't in a long time. Right. I don't care. I know you don't care. I don't at all. I'm glad you don't. No one really cares how I feel. I do still care about how you feel. Yeah. I do. But yet you said that to another woman. Who I already saw her tits and ass and pussy because she unsolicited sent it to us. I already saw it all. I didn't care to see anything. Trish is like, yeah, Shanny, wipe your own ass. I want to see anything. <laughs> That's amazing. But yet you say send pics here. Yep. Yep. Tell me how that makes logical sense. Men can be the victim of abuse. No. To anyone who doesn't know that, 
And I know I everyone in the chat knows that, but that one question. apparently people on Instagram don't. I He's being you, reactionary abusive. I answer it. I can explain. I have an answer. Indeed. And who always initiates this type of shit? Yeah. Almost always Shanny. Shanny. <laughs> you can fucking feel that way. I don't care. I do feel that way. I don't care. I did it for your insecurity. Yeah. You can't stand that a woman that looks like that would send me any kind of pictures. And I don't know why, because it was you knew it was fake from the beginning. She was from Draven's Crypt. It's not real. She might send put pictures of her ass, pussy, everything. It's not real. She doesn't give a fuck about me or you. It's to get content. Oh, right. Not real. She deserves better than this. Yeah, right. <laughs> I deserve better than this. Yeah, right. Yeah, I've had enough. I'm I'm done engaging with that woman. I'm sure the people who have been paying attention to the live chat know what I'm talking about, but I'm done. I'm done. I'm just absolutely fucking done. Quit typing in chat. Let's just watch the shit show. Okay, I'm sorry, but it pisses me off, okay? I feel the need to say something about it. <laughs> You've had somebody take care of you completely for two years, two and a half years now. Someone that has no obligation to you whatsoever is, is my uncle, you, you know? He could have said to us a year ago, get out. You're your own person. You're supposed to be able to take care of yourself. Get out. And he didn't do that to us. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that um, I love you with all my heart, and I'm always going to. Um, and I want you to know that if this, you fit, obviously you do feel this way. That you feel your trust was betrayed by Thanks for this. chilling, Locke. I'm telling you that the intention was so that you would never see anything from her again. But you do. Of, no, I don't. Stop that! Gaslighting! You said send them here. So that Shani doesn't see it. If you have to impulsively send stuff like that. That's Not what was said. That is what was said. That is what was said. Shani don't want nothing like that. She likes clean talk. It's nothing against you. That's how she is. She wants clean talk. That's what I said. And if you say I said differently, you're lying. Because I'm that's, not. That's not what is said. It's exactly my emails to her. Exactly. I didn't see that. Yeah, because you see what you want to because of oh. your mental illness. Oh, it's my mental illness. Yes, it is. I see someone who said, send your pics here, laugh out loud, so Shani doesn't see it. I love capital letters. I did say that. Tattoos. I do. Yeah. And that's true. That's you saying, bring me your pics. I want to see them. Wrong. Really? Then what other way? How can you conceive? Because I've been talking to means. this girl as a friend. And I yeah, said. Yeah, for how long? About, you fucking. When was the first time you remember seeing her face? When I was chatting with her next to you. When I thanked her for the money she sent. You're, you're the one who's getting defensive about this. No, I'm sick of your gaslighting. I'm not gaslighting. Yes, you are the whole time. I'm asking questions. No, you're gaslighting me, putting intentions on me. What intentions did I put on you? That I want to fuck her, which I don't. Well, you know what? I see I see messages like that. It's going to, I'm going to think that. I don't care. You it's should. Not true. I got a crack window, head. Jesus oh, Christ. It's in my head. Yes. I've got oh, the vapors, oh, yes. Mango. 
it sings your and head. And you talking to prostitutes was in my head too, right? Oh, bring up the past now. That's what you, you have to do. You're the one bringing up the you past. You have to retreat to the past. You, you brought I've got a bowl game. of popcorn and a beer, and I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, I'm the one fucking because stressing this a little so bit. Much. You're the one who's just That's chilling out, Max, and relaxing all I cool. I wish I never met you. Because I love you. <laughs> What's up, 21 v tubes? Also, we got Taco here. What's up, Taco? I'm glad they shut up so I could say hi to you. That's the one I've been in. Why don't you just stump me, Jason, and make it easy on you? Based. <laughs> make it easy on me. Yeah. Based. What are you going to do? Come on. Die? Hell yeah. I don't want that for your sons. I want them to have a mom that's going to grow up with them for a little while. A little I while. I want you to see your boys grow up. I want you to see that. What's up, Tubi? I would have killed myself with alcohol. You kept me here, so let me help you now with your health. Well, seeing like things like that don't help me. Well, I'm telling you. Ah, uh, this argument's no over, attention. isn't it, Manga? None. Zero. No, it's not. It, it's going to keep going. <laughs> okay. You want to talk to her. See? I knew it was fake from the start. Shannon, I knew no, you didn't. it wasn't all up in her pussy for me. Oh, I'm horny. I want to fuck you, Rev. But yeah, you keep talking about moving to Norway, but you knew from the beginning it was fake, right? Yeah. Oh, but yet you keep talking to me about moving to Norway. No, let's talk about moving to the UK. Somewhere other than America. I don't like this place no more. It's too crazy. And you would love those Scandinavian countries because they give the fucking... They'd never accept her. You need to contribute something to immigrate there. All of it. They actually, like, pay for social programs. You can't afford to move to the next room <laughs> yes, rather than much to other another, a country. Jesus Christ. You better believe you do. It's well put. And that's what you're starting to do, is help you. To get you healthy, try to get you healthy. Holy so you fuck! Can walk around, do things, <clears throat> and start living again. It's what I want for you. I want you to walk and see your sons graduate from high school. Will you? So she has to get up and fucking move. Graduate. Yeah, I that's not gonna to happen. I want to drive you to it. Or you drive with me in the passenger seat and you're driving a car again. I want you to be Shanny, fully Shanny again, whoever you were. Oh, God. I want you to fully be you. That'll never happen. She's full of holes. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible shit. And I don't, I don't want to do that ever. Because it's all bullshit. The ad hominem attacks towards you are all bullshit. None of that's true. It's stuff to throw at you because I'm really angry and I'm immature like that and say stupid names. That's true. For questions. <laughs> yeah, but I answered your question. I'm telling you the truth. There was no sexual intention. I call bullshit on it because that's it's the yeah. way how you put it. Fine. Way so, how. Looking. I saw her you ass it. and pussy and tits already. Good for you. It's uninteresting to me. I wouldn't ask for more pictures because I already saw her. But you did. No, I didn't. You said send your pics here. Instead, you asked for more. Oh, my Instead God. They're going in damn circles. Shani, she does not like seeing this bullshit, etc. Yeah. That's not what you said. Exactly what I said. Not to her. Yes. It's the only time I wrote it. Ooh, ooh, spice. I 
I didn't get into the specifics of it's because you're insecure and she thinks you, she any thinks you're attractive and that I'm looking. That's the full spectrum. Oh, so you are looking. You're admitting you are looking. Shani thinks I'm looking. When as soon as her pics came through, you oh, don't. Oh, it's all my fault again. No, she sent them. It's her fault. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why she sent them. Because you set me up. Or maybe you asked for them. Uh-huh. When you've seen every conversation, you're a liar. You're lying to yourself to save face for an audience now. No, I'm not. It's pathetic. <laughs> I'm lying? This is pathetic. She is pathetic. She's the one of the most garbage human beings I've ever seen in my life. I'm gaining fans here. I'm not talking to people. I'm talking to you. It's pathetic. I'm talking to you. Yeah, and you're just digging a grave for yourself for no reason. I, it don't matter if I have a grave or not. I'm already dead. Ah, cool. You hear this? You're already suicide. Dead. Yeah, I'm already a ghost of a person. Trying to I'm threaten suicide, basically. I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to do anything. Great. I have no will. Awesome. God. How much I have to hear this, folks? You think this one depressed someone hearing this every day? I'm fucking done. I want to <laughs> just die. I have got nothing. When you're the guy here sitting here taking care of her, trying to help her. Yeah, you make me feel so small. You did that to yourself. No. What an accomplishment so that is. Self, Shannon. Yes, you do. But yeah, I'm a narcissist. <laughs> yeah, at the same time you are when you get triggered. Yeah, that makes a lot of fucking sense. When you're triggered, you're a narcissist. You, you're 99% narcissist. You're no, 90, I'm not. Yeah, 90% narcissist. No, it's not 90%. Then what's the percentage, Jenny? Tie. 70. There you go. Tie. <laughs> I'm telling <laughs> you, being narcissistic, I'm asking questions. And I answered your question. And I'm saying bullshit because it doesn't make any sense. Gaslighting. No, it's not gaslighting. It's what you said. No. You're saying, I'm lying to you, and I'm telling you I'm not. You're trying to put intentions on me, and they're false. I hope you and her have a happy life. That's great. It's fake. What do you not understand by fake? And, and, and I said in chat what everyone's been asking. Shit out. She doesn't even like me. Do you get that? It's fake. That's why you keep talking to her. She keeps I keep to talking to her for money that you need to. Way to show your current pay piggies exactly how the fuck you are. Good yep. job. Say goodbye to that money until you find some new ones. Oh, fuck. What's up, I froze? They go silent a lot, so I get to say hi to you guys. We got Salami Nugget here. Holy shit. To think I came on here to defend 55 viewers. See? I don't care. You care about it more than I do. You care. You always care. Always oh, will. Yeah, you will. You needed that attention. Tear me down. The you numbers don't lie. Else do they? The numbers don't lie. <laughs> the numbers the don't lie. Exactly. Like this That's is... what people do. See the victim when she gaslit me the whole fucking night? I didn't gaslight you. I asked you a question. Gaslit me the entire night. 
You're so mean to me. I didn't do anything to you. <laughs> yeah, you did. You called me names. You treated me disrespectfully. My intention was to come on here and defend my marriage. And to, yeah, you really defended it pretty good, didn't you? And to defend Shani against assholes? Yeah. Oh, why don't you defend Shani against yourself then? And you ripped that away because you attacked me right in the beginning of the I didn't of the video. attack you. I asked yes, a you question. Did. Yes, you did attack me. I asked the question. So she chose the side of haters over her husband that wipes her ass. That's insane. I see what you say. It's crazy I see what you say. that she would do this to somebody that takes care of her. It's insane. I see what you say. Take her the fuck out. Do it. But I will have it on record. I'll have it on record that I love this woman more than anything on the planet. Why? And my intention has never been to hurt this woman. I believe that. Yeah, you did a good job. With that. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I'm not perfect. <laughs> and people can be shit stains. And I, I've been shit stained. And, and I have. But been you've been cleaning up Shannies, literally. Because I have called you names. And I do not want to call you names. Because that shit is lies on my part. I am lying to you when I call you horrible names. Because I don't feel that way about you. <laughs> yes, I do. It could be considered a form of gaslighting to insult, and I never want to throw insults. But you do anyway. Yeah, I do when I get really riled up. Yeah, that's that's a good excuse to have. See, now you will keep pushing me and further and further push me more when I'm trying to apologize to you and calm this You're down. You're trying to make you push me back the in the fire. You push me back into the fire. Oh. That's what she does to me, guys, and it's gone on for years. That's true. I push you back in the fire. Yep. I try to calm things down, and you push me right back in the fire. Yep. After saying horrible things, I should just automatically be like, okay, right? Because I don't mean them. Because I don't mean them. But that doesn't, it seems like you mean them when you say them. Well, I don't mean them. Yeah. That's it's, why it's, repeatedly said to oh me. my god, a wipeless chase in 2024. Ill nice one, June. Does. They Jesus strike Christ, out and they this is amazing. Way too far. Yeah, by asking a question. Wrong. I answered your question and Wrong. you continue to push me and gaslight me. That's the truth. By putting intentions on me, which were not there. Send your pictures here. Done. I really I, love You're that going too. to do this over and over again, and it's stupid. I'm done. Yeah, I came on here to defend Shani against Draven from saying all horrible things, but then I came in and said horrible things too because I'm so angry. Yeah, you're worried about other people driving you suicide. But the ad hominem attacks, I I hate them, and I'm try. I've been talked to my therapist about that ad nauseum to stop ad hominem attacks of all kinds, and it's immaturity number one, but it's also my mental illness. And when I say horrible things like that, I don't mean any of them. It flies out. My fucking grandfather had the same issue. That he'd say things he did not mean at all. It's you meant them 1,000%. Oh, 100%. And the fact it was a is, rare moment of lucidity. The circumstances that me and Shani came together, we did, and I love her. And, she, and, and, and the things that are said are untrue about her. Horrible shit that's untrue about her status as a mother and all of this stuff that's oh, absolutely look who hopped in. It's false. She's a wonderful mother, always has been a wonderful mother. She's loving in every way you could imagine. She's loving. No, she's not. You just showed it. They've been in CPS care since 2022, you bitch. And I realize that what's happened here looks untoward but it just looks it it isn't the reality of what was going on but her heart is so good 
and it's trampled underfoot, myself included. And I repent of it. I repent of hurting Shannon. And I apologize to her for every bit of what seemed to be something. Jesus Christ. But I knew this girl was from them from the start. Okay. She was straight up with me from the start. My family is in desperate need every day for food and every day things that we need in this house family you mean just i literally talked to this girl to get money because she sent us 50 dollars in one day which is unheard of and i repent of that greed because that's basically what that is at the end of the day is having money in my bank account to do something with so i fully repent of all my wrongdoing of whatever it is i'm so sad he's already getting back and apologizing and I apologize for for uh, horrible things said. Because and these piece of shit gaslighters right. are not fucking and helping. I hate myself every time this shit type of thing happens. But my my I I I am in therapy, and I'm going to be continue to be in therapy, and hopefully one day that I won't lash out and say bad things that aren't true, that have no bearing in reality, because Janie's a wonderful person. But I want you guys to understand the area of your ways that you're attacking a person that does not need it, and it's against the law to attack her. But yeah, you attacked her. <sighs> Live I video ended. Circles anymore. Yeah. Live well, video ended. Damn. Well, My what wife. you're saying is being hypocritical. It's unbelievable. I guess this is I the end. I love my wife. And I'll love her till the day I die. And maybe I have Stockholm Syndrome, but I... Wow. Oh, yep. Maybe I have Stockholm Syndrome? Uh, sir. We're, we're ending <laughs> it on that. Fuck. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Mango, I was not expecting... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fucking Christ. What a roller coaster. Dude, I hope I didn't... Okay. So I hope I didn't crazy. talk too much. Uh, no. Like... Uh, I was just beside myself enjoying the shit show. Because one thing that... Okay, look. <laughs> Rev, in and of himself, is an abusive person. I am not going to get that conflated at all. But Shani pushes him to the point of being reactive abusive. She mentally and verbally abuses him to the point that he reacts in such a strong way. And his apologizing, trying to make amends, is so he won't get the harms again. Yeah, we all know that he's getting fucking struck after that. And I'm, I'm sad to say it, but it, it, it fucking sucks to say it. But Jason's not getting away with that unharmed. Oh, I didn't even mean to make that a joke. <laughs> I didn't. I promise. I promise I didn't mean to make that a joke. It was Jesus perfect. Right? Oh my fucking god. Look, I have seen like anyone that has watched the domestic violence performance art video knows that Shani pushes him to that point of being reactive. And that is what we just saw. She pushed him to a point of being reactive, and he yeah. had that moment of lucidity. Where he was telling the truth about shit. And that's not uncommon, unfortunately, within their relationship. We've seen it multiple times. Yeah, the Saturday stream is the biggest example, but it's happened many times before. I think that's the biggest example of it since the Saturday stream. So I guess what we're going to call this the... Oh my god, it's this was Saturday, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, it's Saturday stream too! <laughs> yeah, let's... Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Well, um And yes, right. I did make myself a bowl of popcorn with some garlic powder sprinkled on top. Drop those links and then we'll talk some more. Uh, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's still some more I want to say, but I do want to while we have everybody's attention here, I still do want to, you know, bring that up. Yeah, um, of course. Mari said Anna was fighting with some lady in the chat. Mango, how much attention were you actually paying to the shit I was saying in the chat? Because I said some... Uh, 
I was trying to ignore the chat just so I could focus in on everything they were saying because that shit was gold. It was. It really was. That's why I was trying to not talk too much because I, I, I was trying to talk in between them talking. That's when I try to like read everybody. I think I got everybody because I don't think I said hi to Jed, Jed Jason Todd. But what's up, man? No, I saw dead Jason Todd like hop into the chat. In, yeah, uh, yeah, Instagram. Yeah, I and saw that. I yeah. read a few of his comments and they were. Uh... <laughs> yeah, no, I was really mad at that person. They were. They said they claim that they have like followed the situation for years and they were super informed about the whole situation. And they were dead ass defending Shani. Go fuck yourself. If you actually know about all that shit, then you're a reprehensible piece of shit who probably did the same thing their own spouse. So, fuck you. Anyway, yeah. with that being I said. I did drop a link. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So, uh, recently, Small Human had to have his emergency diazepam used and go to the hospital for a five and a half minute long seizure. We have his nightly seizure med covered. However, we do need to still get his emergency diazepam. It is $356 a month. Some people have already donated, hence the lower number. Um, insurance, for whatever reason, because he's dual insured under my insurance and Medicaid, they will not cover it. If you would like to help, great. If not, great. It's your money. Do with it as you please. Hell yeah, if you can help her out, uh, my lovely co-host here would be much appreciated. It's, it's for about as good of a fucking cause as you can get. So, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed taking part in that shit show. It was fun and hilarious, wasn't it? Um, I was really not, I was really unkind to that person who was defending Shani, but can you blame me? Am I really not justified? Like, you were just no one in the chat, in, in our chat, I should say, called me out or anything. So I'm not saying it to anyone here, but just, man, they were like, at some point, I saw three Shanny Defenders unironically on screen at once, and I just wanted to, like, bash my head against the fucking something. I don't know. I I, I don't actually do that. I, I've actually never resorted to, like, physical stuff when I'm angry, unlike Shanny. But, uh, <laughs> but, but if anything ever got me close, it was just like, god damn it, like, fucking hell. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I almost had a cans dot wave. Um, only, like, two people. You never, you never give anyone the harms. Yeah, <laughs> I never even put myself in harm's way. So yeah, I, I definitely have never hurt anybody else. But um, I do want to bring one thing to uh to the attention of the people real fast. This channel right here, go check out Underhaven Violet. I uploaded a short today. It's basically like a shorter version of that H Hannah and Jake clip I I uploaded. It's just the part where she talks about being a DMD character, and it already has like five hundred views. Uh, I'm going to be uploading some like proper videos here too, some Family Guy compilations that I did like months and months ago now, but they're still funny, so I'm going to be I, dropping I, on here. Wait, you should play the the crunch. The crunch? Oh, okay. <laughs> sure, we'll play this one real fast. Why not? You can hear it, right? Did I share audio? I don't think you did. Oh, right. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to. All right, one second. I will reshare real fast. Yeah, if I don't think I'm sharing audio, I'll forget to check off. I also like how Lizard is the thumbnail for the crunch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you can't you can't do your own custom thumbnails for shorts unless you have, like, some insane amount of views on there. So, yeah, I don't know why that is, but fair enough. <laughs> wait, don't crunch on my... Pro you, wait, did you just crunch on my podcast? <laughs> <laughs> on my podcast. I don't think I invited a damn cruncher on here. <laughs> no one expected that. Would... <laughs> don't you dare crunch on my podcast. <laughs> that ending is really what makes it. Let's be honest. The fucking Nova's delivery is just—it's <laughs> yeah, ten out of ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need to bring the maidens back soon. We will. We will. We will soon. I mean, I can't believe it's already February. Yeah, we really do need to bring that back soon. Well, I, I'll have to start a group chat with you and Fit, and we'll be like, what's the first thing we're going to talk about? Then I can start researching it. Since I Talk about I'm... some bullshit. Yeah, some bullshit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Get Nova in on it. Maybe Miss Parker, since she's out of rehab and living her best life. Hell yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. You think I did a good job? Thank you, Sydney. I, I, I didn't know if like, I felt like that was going to be a fucking, uh, you know, um, 
<laughs> Wait, what? I didn't even read what you said here. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. What'd you say, Amu? The important question here is, is Anna taking over Jason's wiping duties? Uh, no. <laughs> I think Jason's going to continue doing that just with a bit extra harm. No, you know? it, it's the fact that Jason, in his anger, just straight up said, I wipe you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. If, he confirmed oh. what we already knew. That was beautiful. I, I'm not sure. If, I, I I doubt. I bet that's going to be deleted instantly. So, I, you know, unless anyone else was streaming at the time, that might be the only archive of what happened. I'm sure someone else will have it. But if not, then I will go and make that an individual clip at some point. Oh, cause... wait. Hold on. I Let me see. Because I'm logged into Instagram. Oh, boy. Instagram. Yeah. Uh, to the beautiful people here right now, we're going to be wrapping this shit up relatively soon. There's 30 of you here. Drop a like if you can. Help out my lovely co-host with getting some medication, some life-saving medication for her kiddo. Much appreciated. And yeah. uh, also go check out uh, go check out Underhaven, Underhaven Violet as well. That shit, I'm going to drop that in the chat right now. We only have 19 subs right now, but uh, there's no major videos on there. It's just like shorts right now, so I understand, but... If we can get that channel to like 100 within a month or two, which I think we can do, I think we can fucking do it. Then I would much appreciate that. Um, but yeah, this has been a hell of a show. show <laughs> I was not people. expecting that. Yeah, show for the people. Um, we're not going to go over the rest of that that Jason video because like I can't take any more Shani and Rev after that. <laughs> so I'm about to see if I can download it real quick. All right, all right. Let me know if you can. Um, I but should yeah. be able to. Hold hopefully, on, hopefully, graveyard flowers will have that uploaded eventually, and then we can see how long that one actually was. And you can cover the rest of that on one of your stupid morning bullshits if you want, because I do think that needs to be gone over too. Like but. lizard is a uh, at work, let's put it that way, and I don't necessarily know if we'll be doing because I was gonna take over brunch for tomorrow but yeah, if yeah. i can get this downloaded then yeah we're doing this <laughs> yeah you can even go over like the the part that we missed you know because we gave her a live reaction over a good chunk of it but there were some that we fucking missed so it might be gorn already maybe no it's still up oh shit all right mango you know what you have to do yeah I know. <laughs> get get that downloaded, and um, if you can, like, maybe put it on, like, a Google Drive at some point, because I'd like to tinker with it, too, and, like, do so I've I've never clipped Shani and Rev on Unhaven Gold since bringing it back, so good place to start, maybe? I mean, yeah. All right, yeah, there were some memorable moments in there. I feel like I could get a couple clips out of that shit. Fucking hell. But yeah, yeah, let me know when you have that. And uh, thank you to the person who subscribed, by the way. We're at 20 subscribers now. That's a better number than 19, that's for, for sure. But um, but yeah, guys, check out Underhaven Violet. Check out those links. Help out my lovely co-host if you can. And um, yeah, drop a like if you haven't dropped a like yet. Mango, I mean, you already kind of talked about what you have coming up, but any final statements you want to say before we wrap up the show? Uh, not really. <laughs> yeah, I guess we kind of talked about everything, huh? <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of went above and beyond tonight. I mean... Two hours, 30. Yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining. Um, hop in the Discord server. I haven't talked about that in a while, but hop in the Discord server. There's links down below. Twitter, all that shit. Stay in, stay in touch with the podcast and... Uh, Thank you guys very much for watching. And as always, guys, stay toasty. Good night, everybody. Have a good one.